Hello, game cats. All right, good, good, good. We have good stream health. Everything's gonna be good. Oh, only starting three minutes late. Not bad for filming a viewer takeover ahead of this. I'm sorry. Also, why am I adding more work to my load? <laughs> what a fucking moron <laughs> I am. All right. There's not much editing for that one, right? There's an intro, and then just go. It's it's so much work. It's so much work. It's like hours. All right. Um. Hey, Polish Paul. What's up? Get the intro started they, they here. They can't hear us yet, can they? No, they cannot okay. hear us. Never mind. Well, that's what I thought last week, and then, and then yeah. we were and we were totally streaming before I realized <laughs> it. Let's get the. Hey, go. GameCats. This is Grim Catnip. The amazing piece Wait, of video game artwork you see before you was created by fellow GameCat game and new member of the Catnip Games <laughs> Reward Committee, Wonder Rob. What is the Catnip Games, you ask? It's a monthly PSVR game and event founded by the PSVR Without Parole GameCats community. The event is hosted and sponsored by God Cannon and myself. Each month, we select a PSVR game for GameCats and other PSVR players to compete in. Winners receive a $20 PSN North American code. And starting today, winners will also receive a physical art piece drawn by Wonder Rob to commemorate their victory. If you would like a chance to win, then be sure to head over to the PSVR Without Parole GameCast community on your PlayStation and sign up. Dr. Doom will be there to greet you at the door. After that, all you need to do is keep watch the community's event tab for the next Catnip Games event. If you missed your chance to sign up, but still want to watch the event, don't worry. God Cannon and I have you covered. We will be streaming the events live for everyone to see. You can check the comments below for links to our channels. We have only two games left in the season before we go on hiatus. Season 2 will begin in January. That's all the updates I have for now. Stay tuned to the PSVR Gamecast Live for more catnip game updates. This is Grim Catnip, and remember, Brian Paul loves you all. I, however, did not get his names on the bottom of the screen, even though I got you in the picture. Well, here's the thing, though: Am I gonna have to change the color of my shirt? I don't, I don't know. Because we, were, you guys were all yellow because you were on the Midnight Games cast, and I was the outlier. It made sense, and now. No, but now it fits perfect because Desra is right above the word live That's and you're true. wearing red and it just looks like you can see. So is live just transparent then? You're wearing like a pantsuit. In that. <laughs> I think we all kind of are, right? I think we are all. Yeah. I think they're oh, speed yeah. suits. I thought we were Ghostbusters and as it turns out we're all in jail. Yeah. Oh, yeah. we are in jail. Oh, wait. Without well, parole. Without parole. Yeah. Right. yeah, without parole. Yeah. yeah. We're not on parole. But yellow's too happy of a color, so maybe they want the VR inmates to be happy. We are happy, I guess. This is PSVR Games Cast Live, where we film every Tuesday afternoon at midnight. We bring it to YouTube live. Hey, Fred. <laughs> hey, Fred. Every Tuesday as PSVR Games Cast Live, and every Wednesday, every tomorrow as Viewer Takeover, when we let you, the loyal Game Cast, wow. take over the show. So tune back in tomorrow around this time, and there should be Viewer Takeover. Viewer you asked for Takeover. It, it's back. The tenses are going to get real weird in this. Yeah, tenses are all over the place. <laughs> uh, we already filmed it, so yeah, yeah. Good, good luck with that. Um, and make sure hashtag viewer takeover if you want your question read next week. <laughs> yes, next week. Right. The award next show was week. so good. TV quality. The award show was so good. It was better than TV. Qu Brian and I were discussing TV's dead. It's TV's the, dead. the internet. Which which led uh, had very little competition then when it came to the award show. Yes. Yeah, it was TV quality, but nothing's on TV. Yeah. Nothing. <laughs> right. Awesome. Yeah, we'll talk a little bit more about the award show in just a minute. Uh, as always, my name is Brian Paul, and to my right, your middle is uh, is is Desra, the king of all Desras, and then to my far right, your far yeah. left, the sofa king. That's what he's the king of. Yeah, sofas. Sitting on sofas. Uh, oh, someone found one. What'd you find? What? Uh, Fred F. Got one oh, of the static codes. I didn't go back nice. and look. Nice. Right. You know? Should yeah. I? Yeah, the, uh, the Tarsier Studios said, hey, we, we, here's your video. Please do not put any fancy graphics on top of this uh, because obviously we're giving away keys. And I was like, excellent. I wonder if anyone's going to notice. And uh, the, I think the issue is anybody who watched our channel already knew how good Static was. Yeah. And so they were like, well, there's no point in redeeming the key. I already <laughs> own this game. Uh, and so like, somebody was the 2,000th viewer and they redeemed the key. <laughs> and they were like, how did 1,999 people not download this already? So there, there was only one key? Yeah, there were a few. Okay, because it, it would say like U.S. code, yeah, and, and yeah. it was like so. There's a bunch of different regional ones. Yeah, and mm. that was only one Easter egg. There was another Easter egg that I put in there that no one's mentioned yet. So, 
We'll see if anyone else that you it. personally in your segment. Um, yes, yes. Every time you saw me, you saw the Easter egg. I, hmm. I, I missed it. Okay, well, I missed it too. <laughs> Nothing said. When you I mean, no one, no one got anything. It was just a, a, a weird little. I don't know. For anyone who's kind of watched the the show. So I'm on yeah. vacation. Okay. I didn't tell anybody, but I'm I'm on, I'm currently That's on vacation. A good idea. I uh, I basically here's what happened. Uh, I didn't sleep almost any of the days leading up to. Uh, the award show mm-hmm. because as you all know it was done very last minute and uh, and then the night of the award show yes uh, I, uh, I I had to after the show was over I had to edit PSVR this week and uh, and also I had to get uh, get started on why we love PSVR for Monday right uh, so I had a lot of work to do uh, and then Sunday morning after sleeping for an hour and a half mm-hmm. I had to, I had to woke, I woke up and went to see my parents Okay. Right. You got to stay on schedule. You got to see your parents. You know, you can't. You can't let them down. You are very religious, so Sun- so Sunday. Religious. Okay, Wolfie Smith, the Game Cup. Wow. Congratulations! Wow. The award wow. show was superb. Awesome. It was permanent Wolfies. vacation. No, not, not permanent. Not permanent vacation. Uh, yeah, I'll try to wrap up this story very quickly. Um, but but so so I found myself on an hour and a half of sleep after having not slept for the entire week. Finally mm-hmm. getting home. Uh, and then next thing I know, uh, not only am I exhausted and I have a ton of work to do, but then I find myself in a new relationship, oh. uh, which we will not discuss no. on the air. Uh, but but basically, uh, I, I, I'm taking some personal time for myself, uh, but somehow we're still doing this. <laughs> yeah. No. And, and I'm in the middle of doing my Home Sweet Home review, uh, <laughs> and you're doing a Racket Fury review. Yes. And so there's, there's still lots of stuff happening this week. Yeah, um, but we're going we're gonna to pump still the brakes on a little surface. bit on the content. We're going to pump the brakes a little bit. Uh, Brian's got an actual life to live. Uh, and I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of actual living life, uh, but, but we're doing it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, uh, thank you very much, Wolfie Smith, the Game Cub. Yes, thank you. Rawr. Five quid. <laughs> we're cool now. Five quid. Yep. I feel so proud. We're quid, so cool. yeah. Uh, if you're if you're quiddy and you know it, quid your hands. Quid, quid. I don't, I don't know what does quid sound like. Uh, what does quid sound like? I don't know. It's quid. <laughs> well, see that that's it, right? Yeah. I just call you squishy, and you should be mine. <laughs> okay, I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah. Uh, I didn't sleep last night either, so we're just continuing the whole yeah, yeah the whole deal. Uh, so this is PSVR Games Cast Live, and uh, we should probably talk about some video games and, and, and things and sure. stuff. But, mm-hmm. uh, but I don't know, did you, did you guys pay attention to that introduction? We don't have sound over here. so uh, <laughs> I saw the picture. So that was Grim Catnip the Game Cat. Wow. And he's talking about him and God Cannon running the catnip games. Uh, so make sure you head on over to our community, the PSVR Without Parole Game Cats. Wow. Wow. All day. Uh, on, on the PlayStation 4, join that community. Uh, get in touch with them. Dr. Doom's going to greet you to the door. I don't know. He lost his shitload of weight. He's looking fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Doom's like all in shape now. He's going to have to lose an O in his name. Was it Creed or Spark or To the Top or what? Uh, I I, I, th- I think it was the single life. All the oh, moving okay. of boxes. <laughs> he's been moving a lot of shit out of his house. He's been he's a lot of moving. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's, he's like Hello a, from America. He's from Hong Kong, oh, China. from Brazil as well. Okay. Yeah, that awesome. Thiago Del Delmida. I have no idea what you're talking about. Thiago, <laughs> I gotta bring I gotta bring Uh-oh. up the chat so we don't so worry, we can Met follow Cat. along. <laughs> um, he'll, he'll have seconds for you. Metcat, uh, Met, uh, uh, yeah, Metcat moved off from me and onto you. Well, he, I think he's, 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 is he he's back? <laughs> he's just we're just tossing him between us. Oh, is that what it? Yeah, just toss him around. We're, in, <laughs> we're on the outskirts of a very strange sandwich. You know, uh, here I'm gonna. There's I'm, a lot of meat in that sandwich. Let me see if I can break up the chat here, and then we can, and then Des and I can actually see what's happening in the chat as well. Oh, I can see. All right, well, there you I'm go. gonna have to look, look both ways. Oh. Already a little bit wall-eyed. Wow. So, yeah. I, I, I think you and Metcat have something in common. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, Trinidad. Wow. So yeah, make sure you Trinidad, join our little community crap. over there, Trinidad. Really? Good mm. on you. Wow. Insane. Uh, yeah, uh, great tech reviews because guys, look out for a game called Zero Caliber for PSVR. It's awesome. Yeah, we broke the news on that forever ago, <laughs> dude. Get caught up. Uh, I'm just a dick today. I apologize. <laughs> um, so let's see. Uh, awesome salad. USB <laughs> is bleeding. I'm sorry. Are you okay? Do you need medical attention? Do you, do you want? Do you need a snorgy? <laughs> Brian, I mean, snorgy solve everything. Do the yeah yeah. It's actually Desra's fear. Jason it, Livin says hello from my couch. Jason <laughs> Livin was. The, if I'm correct, God, I'm really bad at this, was the champion of the last Catnip Games, from what I've heard. Uh, so congratulations, Jason Livin, a.k.a. The Livinator. 
Uh, Kev Gret asked if anyone's seen Heavy Fire on Walmart.com. Uh, I meant to go to Walmart last night to see if I could get Heavy Fire, uh, a physical copy, and uh, I did not get out of my house because I was too busy playing Home Sweet Home. That game's way longer than I thought it was going to be. Uh, speaking of which, I was talking to JD Max, the game cat, uh, on the phone last night about Home Sweet Home, and he was like, "Dude, you got to keep playing. It gets better." And I was like, "It's already really good." And he's like, awesome. "It gets better." And I was like, "It does get better. It's scary as fuck." <laughs> All right. Ramin from, from Iran. I didn't know Ramin was from Iran. Is it so? Maybe it's not Ramin. Was he the one who was looking for the aim? No, no that was some. Okay. No, that was. Uh, it'll come to me. Uh, I forget his name, but uh, but that's not him. I'll know it when I see it. Yeah. Uh, okay, so guys, let's. Uh, let's ooh, we're doing Biesco. There it is. Uh, let's talk about some things that happened last week. Last week, I think uh, the big one that happened last week, the big one, was evasion. Mm-hmm. Was evasion? Uh, I don't know. What I'm really, really I curious the thing about was the award show. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there. Uh, I think the big thing that happened last week was evasion. Uh, but I'm really, really curious because evasion turned out to be a more divisive game than anybody could have expected. Yes. Some people absolutely love this game, mm-hmm. even at the forty dollars price tag. They're like, "This is amazing. This is awesome. This is my next far point fix. This is an awesome way to do. This is something or another." And uh, and and I'm just I'm baffled. I'm baffled because I just didn't see it. Yeah. I played the crap out of this thing. I played it multiplayer. I played it single player, and I didn't see it. So in the chat, I definitely want to hear if anyone out there totally disagrees with me because we welcome all well, of You've had exposure sure. to so many titles. You just play so much. So this has just been... You've done this so many times before, but maybe some of these guys, it's so seldom, you know? Yeah, I, I, I guess i say, like, I, I'm not as down on it as you are. I, um, I don't think... You know, it's... Definitely, like, don't believe the hype. It's not that all-encompassing, amazing. Like, this is the answer to all your shooter questions on uh, PSVR. But I think it's solid. I think it's a lot of fun. The, the time I've spent with it, I, I've had a blast. I think the mechanics, they're not radically different from class to class, but I think there's enough difference to make it interesting. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm having fun with it. I mean, um, it's, but the thing is, is uh, so somebody commented, I want to say, um, hop on the hype, one of mm. our one of our loyal viewers. <laughs> Ironic name for the subject at hand. <laughs> right? Uh, he, he, when I said, you know, uh, Sony is very strict about how they Coco. make... Coco. Jeff Coco. They're very strict about how they, uh, you know, when they give out a review key. So for the first time ever on Astrobot, I had to say, twice in the review, yeah. I had to say, Sony gave this copy to me, blah, 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 so whatever. And, and his response was, you might think that getting a free game doesn't affect your opinion on it. Mm-hmm. But but there, but there's just no way that that's true, and I was like, but but if it was my yeah. first free game, that would be something. Yeah. In fact, I think I, I overrated Dex because that might have been my first free game. I was like so excited to have a game before anyone else, and oh, this is so cool! Yeah. You know, even if it was an awful game, which it wasn't, it was fine. Um, I was very excited about it. I've gotten a hundred free games. Yeah, I was like, it's 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 kind of par for the course now. Yeah. Um, but but so something that I try to keep in mind is that holy fuck, forty dollars. For evasion, yeah, that's a big deal. If evasion was a fifteen dollar game, mm-hmm. I would have been like, oh, it's actually, yeah, it's all right. Yeah. Well, if if it was on like on the uh, Why We Love show, I think this would be a solid two. I think it's like the very definition of a two. A definition of like a very big two. Like yeah. like like this is you know we always well, go well if it's on sale exactly. But how big does that sale have to be? And I got to say, for a forty dollar game to go on sale for fifteen dollars, yeah. What what did I just do? I don't know, but it's interesting. Like seriously, what did I just do? And uh, someone, uh, well, while we're doing that, someone in the chat, uh, Cornerstone City, we need to move away from wave shooters. Yes. Uh, yeah, I, I kind of agree. I mean, it is is it a fun genre, but it seems like that's like, well, we got to do a VR game. Um, let's just have you stand still and throw stuff at you. Seems to be pretty, pretty easy uh, level design problem to solve, which is where I, I think Evasion wins a little bit because it's not just strictly a wave shooter. Like you actually do have to move around in the space. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, Joystick Guru says it perfectly. We, we kind of like exactly what we're saying. Evasion is terrible at forty, great at twenty. It, it does. It really does depend on the price. It do, It yeah. does. I mean, it's a perfect example. My ex-wife went to uh, a restaurant with the kids and her husband and all this shit. They had to wait an hour. Then they ate. The food took an hour to get to them, and one order did not show up, so they had to wait twenty minutes prior to that. Yeah. Said it was no good. And I said, well, it's actually, when you just get there, walk in, sit and eat, it's actually pretty good. Yeah. But it ain't worth a three-hour wait. Yeah. You know what I mean? Not at all. It changes your opinion entirely, just like the game. Yeah, the food could taste exactly the same after three hours, but it, at that point, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, at that point, it's like, this isn't, you got a bitter taste in your mouth, literally. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. I know I need Firewall. Everybody says it. I really do. It's just I'm tapped out, like, scratch-wise. Yeah. 
Jeremy spent like seventy dollars on two games. I know, this, right, you know, right. this past month. So let's encourage him rather than. <laughs> <laughs> but I want Firewall, and I was yeah. torn. It was like, oh, this, or it was Astrobot, and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna go with Astrobot because it was a new, fresh title that Jeremy could talk about, and it's worth it. Beyond, oh, it's yeah. great. Uh, Fred F says, "What are the best games on sale right now?" Uh, he just got American Dream for ten dollars and Sea of Dreams for seven. Well, Fred F, those are the two games that we would not be recommending. <laughs> Cold Iron. Um, don't get me wrong, like Sea of Headmaster, Sea of Dreams, isn't it Sea of Memories? They changed that in a different region. I don't know, uh, but American Dream. Uh, for, oh God, I did not like that game. Like it's funny for like twenty minutes, and then the humor just dries the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so even ten bucks, I'm like, uh, that probably wouldn't be mine. But we did go like, if you go to last week's episode, yeah, we went, we went title by title on everything that was on sale. So mm. go check that out. Yeah, definitely, um, Des was like Marvels all over the place. You have to get Marvels. If you weren't paying attention, get Marvels. He bought no. some keys to get out of Christmas. Marvels. <laughs> he was so happy. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> Des sponsors you, you, the contest. No, you can't do that. It's so weird. You can't just buy keys and then give them away yeah that's strange you, you gotta have to, buy you have to give card. someone like a gift card yeah and that yeah. just feels like oh, here's some money yeah yeah i want to i want to give you a game yeah yeah oh pixel work just came to the, that's out. right i saw that yeah pixel work just came to the uk yeah um and that, i think it was uk a, that, that, uh, europe and show. australia yeah okay, okay. so uh, very excited on. okay well in that case what's that uh, yeah, off the top of my head though, uh, I know that Two uh, MD VR football is on sale, and it's getting that update uh, in okay. like a couple weeks. It's getting the two-player update, the head-to-head update, um, and and when that update happens, the price is going up by like two bucks, and that's two bucks on top of the normal retail price, and it's currently on sale for like seven dollars. Grab it now. Yeah. yeah. Right. Otherwise, you're gonna be paying fifteen bucks for that. Real. I'm soon. trying to do that math. I'm getting very confused. So just yeah, <laughs> buy it now. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and basically, if it sounds good, buy it. Because this is like the this is the best sale you're going to see for the next year. Yeah, yeah at and, least. And I, I cannot start like this is the best price you're going to see on Headmaster, and you should buy it at full price. Yeah. But if you're even like these people don't know what they're talking about, why am I going to play that game? No, it's it's like five bucks. Mm. It's stupid cheap. So. We did a thirty minute review discussion yeah. on Headmaster. Go check it out. Also, Thumper I think is on sale. You need that game. I mean, you just need everything. What's Thumper on sale? Oh, well, that's the problem. The games you've already bought it just says purchase, <laughs> yeah, exactly. so you can't see. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, you, you probably need to <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, yeah. pick up a few of these games. Yeah, Met Cat. Yeah, you wow. be my sugar daddy. Wow, I'm I'm suddenly like I'm suddenly interested now. <laughs> Cause I'm broke. <laughs> hey, no. He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yours. It's all yours. Uh, all right, so let's move on then. Uh, so last week, yeah, we, we got Evasion. Uh, and this week, let's see if we can't see some trailers for this week. Oh, and to know and to die was to know is to die was asking if you can't buy a digital code for a specific game at GameStop. And when I worked there, yeah, you could for Xbox. You can do it on Amazon. Okay. Sony, you couldn't. But again, this was fi- uh, what now? Six Oaxaca. years ago. Wow, you get some from Mexico. What? Oh, Mexico. Mexico. That's Oaxaca. I think. And we're fading. All right, Mikey, here we go. what's up, buddy? This is the trailer for uh, Heavy Ooh. Fire Red Shadow. Oh, my goodness. It, yeah, so, but here, if, if you guys are sick of wave shooters, this yeah. is all this is. Yeah. There's there's a demo available. This if you is going to be a social screen, right? <laughs> Oh yeah! If you if you go, oh yeah, it's 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 definitely boring. How annoying must the uh, shells hitting the floor sound effect? Be? Just There's let no alone sound like we discussed last week. There's no sound effect. Oh really? It's 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 not a very it, the de- the demo unless the demo is a bad demo. Uh, the demo is just one level, and and man, it's it's just not very much fun. Mm, uh, yeah. the, and there should be head tracking with this kind of game, and it's it's dual shock, and it doesn't feel very good, uh, and it's just so so not fun. Yeah, just yeah. lame. So, but but that's but that said, I haven't played the full game yet, uh, and I'm very curious to see if if the full game is is better than that. You maybe know? maybe you can move your head with, with like upgrades and all that kind of stuff as you like progress through the levels. Uh, some of those other levels looked way better than that beachhead thing. Yeah. You know, like I, I like I want to be next to that convenience store blowing up like cars and stuff. I think that <laughs> looks kind of fun. Yeah. yeah. But but being on the beach with everything storming, like, I don't know. One of the best storming the beaches of Normandy. In a game, Metal of Honor Frontline PlayStation. Yes, yeah. unbelievable. Awesome. It's precisely what I was going to say. Des, that... was, Des was playing Xbox. Yep. <laughs> yep. Is a PSVR anniversary sale coming to Australia? You know, the the thing is, is as 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 we learned many times over from all the different developers, uh, the different branches of Sony don't seem to talk to each other. Yep. So and none of them talk to us. And that's <laughs> very true. Uh, and uh, so what happens is is that they all run their own sales and they don't run them in unison so it's not like the sale that we're having here in america will be the same sale that you eventually get in australia it's it's going to be like all different right right yeah. i'm sure i'm sure the percentages are going to be different the playstation plus difference is going to be different um so like whatever we're whatever we're doing um 
<laughs> might, might not be what you got. Thanks, Pocket Monkey. Monkey. Somebody, I guess, their laugh thought I sounded like PSVR Frank. And then uh, Pocket Monkey said, except unlike Frank, that's Jeremy's real accent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. That is a conversation we have to have. Like, no, this is not a character. This is this is the real Jeremy. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, yeah. It, and it's a very different accent as well. <laughs> Jeremy's got like a very severe Boston accent. Yeah, for and, some uh, reason. And Frank's got a fake, a fake Italian accent. Yeah. 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 So, I mean, you know, it's it's... There's similarities, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know, whatever. And if, and for anyone who, uh, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk more about the uh, the award show soon. Yeah. yeah. But, but the big question that kept popping up was, where's Frank? And and we, yeah. just, we just want to make sure everyone knows. We fucking love Frank, and yeah. we invited Frank. He was one of the first people I invited to uh, participate on the show. Mm. Uh, he and he actually accepted and said, um, and, and said, but I'm really busy. If I if I can't get the the job done, right. I'll let you know. And true to his word. As soon as he realized he couldn't make it happen in his schedule, he let me know, and I, and I totally respect that yeah. guy. So, uh, so unfortunately, so yeah, there's no like weird drama happening in the background. It's like <laughs> no, we're, we're people all friendly, happy. Always think there's I know. drama. It's, it's no like drama. no, he, he dude's dude's a busy guy. As he, I think he said on Twitter, he's running three full time jobs right yeah. now. So you know what? It's insane. Cut him some slack. <laughs> yep. Cut him some slack and cut us some slack. <laughs> we, we didn't do anything <laughs> wrong. God damn it. Uh, also, last week we got uh, the Exorcist Legion VR episode four and five. I'm bum, still bum, I'm bum. still using, of course, the one thing that's not four and five. It's chapters <laughs> one, two, and three. Our review, um, but gives you an idea. This is kind of what yeah. you expect. The calibration screen's been fixed. Uh, they also got rid of the uh, mandatory blinders, which is nice because yeah. um, as does as does says all the time. These, these things aren't really helping me. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. Uh, but I, I honestly haven't played chapters four and five yet. Okay. Uh, I've been meaning to, and I think that if uh, I've got some time to kill today, I might actually do a stream of all five chapters, um, just because I haven't played yeah. them in a while, and I'd love to re-experience them without blinders and uh, maybe some better controls and yeah. stuff. We'll see what happens there. Even though I'm terrified, I've been so tempted by uh, Home Sweet Home. Oh, well, in that case, let's talk a bit about this game that I've heard of called Home Sweet Home. Ooh. I've, I've heard that mentioned before. What yeah. was that? And it's right. Halloween-ish <laughs> time. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, while, while this trailer is playing, I do need to bring up... Um, I do need to bring up... I need to bring up some WD-40 so, next time I come up. Yeah, the, the chairs <laughs> definitely squeak quite a bit. Darkwing yeah. Chuck. That's a great name. What is it? Um, Darkwing Chuck. Yep. That is awesome. He's sub to all channels that presented awards. Oh, awesome. That's that's fantastic. Excellent. Uh, well, that was kind of, that was that was part of the goal, actually. Yeah. I was like to give a little exposure to some underexposed channels, for <laughs> yeah. sure. Uh, people are doing tons of work out there. And, exactly, uh, Coco. Exactly. And then, what is Coco saying? You can't he, just say exactly oh, without telling me what Somebody said. said, what doesn't... R sound like and I said it sounds like ah <laughs> and then somebody said oh like driving my car Coco said that and it's exactly okay. like that I just wanted to check because uh, because Polish Paula told me that Home Sweet Home did not come to the PlayStation Store but that's inaccurate there it is right there on the store I it finally it. made it out this oh, week yeah. which is fantastic because the deal is is that it was supposed to come out last week oh, we're last just looking week. at a blank screen right now here let's fix that <laughs> um, okay, it was supposed to come out last week but they, they and it did come out for like an hour or two uh, and then, like after we finished up on the games cast, uh, it disappeared from the store. Yep. Uh, and the devs contacted me. They were like, "Yeah, we want to make it coincide with the physical release." Uh, so we'll have. I'll have a review up later today, I think. Uh, the deal with Home Sweet Home is that on HLTB.com, which I always go to before I play a game, how long to beat.com, mm -hmm. to find out how long it is. The 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 average. Uh, how long to beat time was four and a half hours. And I was like, sweet. I can okay. totally blast through this in one sitting. Sure. A couple things about that. Yeah. One, yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's really fucking scary. Oh, okay. I'm so scared of it. It's, it's to the point... I gotta do what I It's feel. to the point where, like, every five minutes or so, you're just like... Oh, no. I just, I just gotta absorb real life for a second. I gotta really? look out my window. I gotta go have a cup of coffee. <laughs> and like, because, because graphically, it looks a little low budget. Yeah. But man, oh man, they know how to use the environment. The stuff that the Des and I talked about with mm. transference uh, and the end uh, part of Batman Arkham yep. VR, these guys do perfectly. Oh, cool. You're, it's constantly messing with your head. It's constantly changing the environment right. when you least expect it. Maybe I'll have to check this out then. Oh, it's it's phenomenal. Shittier graphics make the Shit. atmosphere that much more eerie, I feel. Well, it, I mean, it's the funny it's thing different. is, I, like, I've played, it, it comes with the non-VR mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I played on the TV just for a little bit to see what it's like. And I'm like, yeah. this looks really nice on the TV. Uh, yeah. And then yeah. you put the heads on and you're like, it doesn't look that nice. Uh, yeah. But but you forget how not nice it looks 
very soon because <laughs> you're just because all you are you're just like so tensed up your hands start sweating you're, you're like trying to grip the dual shock board yeah. for, you know for dear life yeah and and and, and these guys know how to scare you they mm-hmm. do very interesting things with um with scares that i've never seen before in vr and on top of that it's kind of a game of hide and seek. You you are totally defenseless. God damn it! And there aren't a lot of games Ugh. like that because even Don't Knock Twice and Paranormal right. Activity, you were defenseless. But it wasn't a game of hide and seek. You were no. not. You didn't have to be stealthy. Right. You just kind of like, oh, there was the thing, and yeah, and that's it. Oh, that's terrifying. But this whole game is about being stealthy. Okay. Uh, you know, staying out of sight, and, and then once they see you, it's like, oh. Jesus, I gotta run away, I gotta do this or whatever. And that's not something I think we've seen over and over again is graphical fidelity and immersion really have nothing to do with each other. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, um Super Hot is not <laughs> graphically you know No. Uh, it's but just simple and I, clean. I, I challenge you to find a more immersive game than that. Yeah. So yeah. Totally agreed. Mm-hmm. Um so Oh my wh- god, Drone Striker has aim support. I don't know what that means, but okay. Wait, does it really? That's uh That that's that's exactly what we were hoping for. Ringer. Yeah. Wow. So I so my review keys for Drone Striker did not come through. Holy crap, it's only nine dollars? Wow. Bum, bum, bum. That's fantastic because it looks like here, you know what? Let's Hello, watch Hello, the drunk gamer. Let's watch the uh let's watch the trailer for Drone Striker. Mm-hmm. Because it looks like a lot of fun. It no looks more. like it looks like a nineties no uh it looks like a nineties light gun shooter. It looks like an arcade game. Mm-hmm. So let's check that out. I right. want time crisis. Here, Some, well, this, someone asked about Dino Crisis. If in VR. No, that's no, it's not I'll in VR. probably get home sweet home for the wife. Good thing she's tough. I love oh, yeah. your relationship. <laughs> uh, so this is this is Jones Striker. Um, I can't believe it's only nine bucks. I'm like, I'm not gonna wait for my review key. I'll just buy it. Look, that's like the outfit at the end of. But you see, it's Predator. Like, you can you can see it, it, it looked like it would have move support, but man, aim yeah. support for this would be fantastic. It, it's just a '90s right. arcade. Oh, okay. So in the bottom corner, there's the weapon. I was gonna say that you can't see the aim support, <laughs> but you can't see your weapon. That's a little confusing. It just looks like a frantic yeah. shooter, man. Which and I like that there's motion mecha here. Mecha insectoids. <laughs> like, I'm on board with mecha insectoids. <laughs> Seems like alien planets always go for insectoid like oh, things to shoot at you. Yeah. Sure. Ooh. Yeah. He, this 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 looks like this looks like it's what like it's something I need right now. Just like mindless shooting, arcade style. It, it has a nice look to it. Just give me like a, a pedal accessory. That's all. Huh. So oh. I can step on the pedal and duck. Man, that's some real time <laughs> crisis shit. I right? like that. Yeah. I wonder, I, and, I, and I'm curious to know, like, what what are the other mechanics here? Obviously, this is like you could dodge these incoming attacks, kind of thing, like probably physically. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. yeah for nine dollars, I'm not going to expect too much. Nine um, bucks. But holy crap, I, I'm, I'm definitely curious about it. That's for sure. Um, so we'll check that out uh, later today, and maybe instead, maybe I'll stream. Maybe I'll stream a lot of stuff today. Maybe I'm not oh. on vacation at all. No, 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 no. You're on vacation. So, um, I don't, actually, Joyce Agru, I think it made a good point. Do you actually finish your thought? How many hours of game time was Home Sweet Home? Was that? That's the thing. Uh, so, unless there's a game clock that pops up at the end of the game, yeah, I'm not really sure because, like I said, I keep <laughs> I keep taking the headset off. Right at this point, uh, and there is there there's a walkthrough online. Right, the, the, there's, it's funny because the walkthrough online mm-hmm. that just takes you from the beginning to the end of the game, two and a half hours. Okay. And so if you can do exactly what you know you need to do, boom, 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 from beginning to end, without dying, restarting, all this stuff, two and a half hours. But I'm on like six hours. Yeah. And according to this walkthrough, I've got a ways to go. Yeah. Oh, wow. So like, right. I, like I've got another solid hour to go, I think. So um, if you know what to do, two hours. If you are cowering in fear every five seconds, then six plus. It's yeah. my problem. My own mind fucks with me when I'm playing, even transference when I was playing it. I'm sitting there, I'm playing, and it's like all the, you know, talking, and the kids scream, Daddy, Daddy, all this shit going on, and I keep getting these thoughts of, like, somebody grabbing my legs, and be like, oh, you know, like, <laughs> while I'm playing it, and I couldn't get the thought out of my head, and I had to keep peeking and looking. I just, my head fucks with me when I play these games, and I'm like, how, it's like, it tricks me. How terrifying would it be if this happened, and I'm like, Ugh, and I gotta look and make sure nobody's there, you know? It's awful. It's torture. Do keys to his apartment? No. No? Because I, I <laughs> just sneak in and... Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm a bad person. Very bad. Uh, here's something I absolutely love. Uh, Des and I talked quite a bit on uh, our recent episode of Why We Love PSVR, The Persistence. Yes. Uh, we talked about the uh, the upcoming DLC. Right. What we didn't know at the time... We totally got screwed over on this one. We should, we should yeah, have waited sure like another month bit. for this. Uh, what we didn't know at the time was that the Glass Cannon DLC isn't the only part of this DLC. In fact, it's only about 20% of it. That's crazy. There are wow. three other game modes, including 
a new game plus. So not only do they set you back at the beginning of the game right. with everything you already have, but Ooh. they also give you more permanent stat upgrades to upgrade. Really? That's crazy. Right? So that's New Game Plus, or, or Campaign Plus, as they're calling it. Glass Cannon is the one we knew about, which they only give you one HP, uh, but they give you unlimited ammo. Mm-hmm. Huh. Uh, and then, uh, and then there's, and then there's uh, First Blood, which is they just give you a knife, and you have to be very evasive. Um, very, very John stealthy. John Rambo-ish. At, well, I'm sure that's why they called it First Blood. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, crap, there's uh, there's one other mode. but And then there's this whole debug menu, which is strange, that'll give you like all these different options. So like just on the fly, change the difficulty, change the brightness, okay. change everything. Like this just good old-fashioned console cheats. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And it's like and it's on the fly, like in the pause menu, it seems like you just have this full debug menu. And I hope that, o- I hope that only opens up after you've beaten the game. Yeah. But, but I'm pretty sure from the sound of it, they just give it to you. Wow. But but still, I'm like, talk about commitment, man. Yeah. yeah. And also talk about a really old trailer. That doesn't even look <laughs> like the game. Anymore. That was like the launch trailer, the de- or, or the debut trailer, I think. I just want to catch this before it goes by. Uh, yeah. Nikilo said, I finally got to play Just In Time last night. Pretty great. Uh, yeah, that is on sale right now. Oh, my God, pick it up. Oh, Just In it Time, yeah. That was fun. A, a brilliant idea. Yeah. Um, just a, lo- a lot of fun, really kind of challenging, puzzly sort of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely, it's, it's on sale right now. How if much is it on sale? Uh, it's like seven ninety nine. Yeah, it's it's yeah. under ten bucks. Yeah. Um, so yeah, fun one. To, that that's one that kind of like slipped through the cracks, I think. But you definitely want to. Yeah, there, there's a lot of fun there. Yeah. Um, let me see here. I just want to make sure uh, we we already saw Heavy Fire. Where's our hey. home sweet hey. home? Hey. Our access Thank you, PSVR Underground Award Show was so ace. Yeah. Meow. Hey, uh, so five so, real dollars. Thank you very much, five real dollars. <laughs> and just so everyone's aware, God Cannon. PSVR Underground is God Cannon. Mm-hmm. Uh, is God Cannon rebranded his channel okay. uh, as PSVR Underground? Yeah. And uh, so make sure if you don't subscribe to God Cannon, uh, you should subscribe to PSVR. And, Underground. and thank you for doing the acceptance video for yeah, us. Yeah, thank you uh, for everybody. Absolutely. So is so do we call you Underground now, or do we still call you God Cannon? Oh, we're calling him God Cannon until <laughs> the day he dies, and I'm, I'm still gonna make him meow. Because he's a game cat at heart. <laughs> he might be underground, but yeah. underground game cat. cat underground cat. Uh, all right, and uh, one more thing, just for our, our European Australian viewers, let's just watch this because it's new to you. Yep. Fantastic, Pixel Ripped is finally here. Woo! We've been playing this for months, and it's time for you to play it as well. This was one of my most uh, anticipated games when it was announced, and it did not disappoint. Somehow. This one best use of VR category, and it wasn't even out in like half the territories. Right. <laughs> so that must mean, holy crap! It was like took that by a landslide. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I have never seen this commercial of it. No. No. <laughs> well, let's let's well, just kick back and watch it. Yeah. It's kind of fun. Yep. Oh yeah. man, this is making me want to go back and play again. It's making me want to go play game. Like, I was actual say- game Boy. <laughs> it makes me want to play Gargoyles Quest on Game Boy. There you go. That was a great one. That was I also like one. the music on Super Mario. What was the Super Mario on that one called? Super Mario Land? Was it Land? There were, well, there were three of them, and then there was like Wario it, Land. It was like the first one, and it was like an Asian-inspired sounding music. Yeah. I have it in my head entirely, but I won't Why not? dare try to get it out of my head. Because I'm, ter- I'm terrible at making like accents. You know, like really, like oh, that guy, that Italian guy. I'm terrible. They all sound the same. You, you're kicking ass at that Boston accent, though. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, that one I can't fake a normal. I can't sound like I'm like should sound like. Yeah. I just butcher it with shitty way to say words. Uh, someone, oh, adversary one, I got a friend over this weekend. He got sick from RE7. Yeah, I did too. Actually, the, the first time I played it. Um, yeah, it was, the, the walking was a little weird. I don't know. It was one that I, I think I've kind of revisited and been a little better with. But yeah, RE7 well, is kind of one of the. Eesh. It's a heavy title to start with because you just have free 100 percent everything movement yeah. and I guess I can see after a while moving around like that kind of can get you the disoriented kind of slightly nauseating I yeah. got that in um, Skyrim after a little while oh okay but yeah, I Skyrim didn't... wasn't great for me either I, I had to teleport in that I think a lot to do with Skyrim had to do with the low quality of the visuals to be honest okay. on the yeah. regular PS4 uh, uh, that it made me do a lot of squinting and you know I don't know it just yeah. did something to me where I started but no feeling sickness nauseous. at all and pixel ripped <laughs> yeah. I, I had an opportunity to write some wrongs the other night. Okay. Uh, I had a friend over, and uh, who had never played any VR game ever. Ah. And uh, and I was like, and the and, and so he was so like, he was starting with Drive Club. And, and so he he sat down and he was like, he's like, what should I try? He goes, I want to be, I want to be impressed. And I was mm-hmm. like, I really want you to play Drive Club. Yeah. Yeah. 
but I righted a wrong. <laughs> and I, but but not not a great wrong though. I, I still I still made him play Resident Evil Seven. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And I and within seconds. Yeah. I, I know we got something to talk about here. Yeah. But within seconds, he was like putting down the controller and reaching out and like like literally trying to reach out into the world and pick things up. Oh, that's cool. And I, it, like and kept having to pick up the controller and be like walk walk walk. Yeah. Like yes. five times. I was like, this is awesome. This is so <laughs> yeah. awesome what to witness. What you want? Yeah. Right. Like the first time in VR. This is what it should be like. And you want to be like, ah, see, motherfucker, I told you. It's awesome. <laughs> and so, yeah, Massimo. Mas- I don't know. Uh, Massimo like? Giordi- Massimo. Giordani. Giordani. Uh, Giordani. With 50 euros. That's amazing. Wow. Thank, thank you, you so thank very you much. so much, dude. We really appreciate that. Uh, congratulations for the amazing award show. Just keep up the good work and sorry for my lack of participation. You know I can't write English very well. Uh, I promise you, you write better English than we write Italian. So that yeah, is fantastic. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I was like, are you sure it's Italian? <laughs> yeah, and you know what? I'm, I'm going to wear that flag. Don't give anyone crap for not speaking your language as well as you do. Yeah, Because really. I guarantee you, you don't speak their language as well. People as say that at work sometimes. They're like, I'm sorry, my English is no good. I'm like, your English is great. I'm like, I'm, I'm not communicating to you right. in your language because I don't know it. Uh, Asma Green said, click turn in RE7, he'll be fine. Uh, that's that click, did improve things, yeah. Quick turning, I know that that is something that helps you. Smooth yeah. turning is is when you usually that yeah a lot of a lot of games I have to tap out um, with with smooth turning, but yeah, the click turning definitely makes a big difference. Um, and yeah, you know what? I know there's going to be people in the comments now, and so just tough it out and get used to it. Don't, don't just tough it out. If it's making you sick, stop. Yeah, because no, you won't enjoy it. You won't want to go back to it. Exactly if it's making right. You yeah, you're going to train your brain like, oh, VR is the thing that makes me feel bad, so I don't like VR. You won't strengthen that neural right. pathway. Uh, the so, joy out of the experience. So I, I, I kind of wanted to address the uh, the PlayStation sale real quick here. I wanted to yeah. see. Unfortunately, I'm not I'm not logged in as myself on this account. Why am I not logged in? Yo to you as well, God Cannon. Yo to you as well. Sixteen dollars Arizona Sunshine. I gotta say that if like you, we've gone down, we've gone over and over and over saying uh, Arizona Sunshine is not a great game, but at sixteen dollars, that is the that is the price. Worth paying for that game. Speaking yeah. of not a great game, except the, <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the only one that thought it was uh, pretty decent <laughs> with the Dual Shock. Uh, oh, here we go. I can, I can, I can totally log in. With uh, this see, browser. well, he's doing that. PSVR Pearl. I'm a newcomer to PSVR since two weeks, and you're my favorite. Oh, favorite channel. Thank you. Keep it up. Thank you. But so Thank far, you. please always add maybe some comments on motion sickness. Yeah. So, um, music, music taco. Music Otaku. Oh, Music Otaku. Oh, that's cute. Music Otaku 666. Oh, I, I've seen Music Otaku 666 before. We had a conversation yeah. Uh, already. Yeah, recently. that's kind of like the, the flag I wear, wave for the channel. Um, you know, a lot of the other folks on the channel don't really get motion sickness, and I still do. Uh, it's gotten be- gotten slightly better, but I do. Yeah, I I got your back. But um, that, and that's the thing. Always yeah. always tune into to uh, to why we love PSVR. If you pretty much at some point during each and every one of those episodes. We were on a journey with Des through his motion sickness. At the beginning, mm-hmm. you really couldn't do anything with movement at all. There, yeah, there were very few games. Um, but over time, it's it's gotten a little better. I don't think I don't subscribe to the you know just keep practicing and it'll go away completely. I, I don't think so. Um, but yeah, I, I do try to make sure I'm very sensitive to that kind of thing. Uh, for instance, uh, the transference area. Transference, yeah, transference was last yep. week's. Yeah. Um, so we talked about transference, and that was one where like. I think it was really good. It definitely started to trigger my motion sickness, but that was one where I didn't take my own advice and I just fought through it anyways because the game was so compelling. Mm-hmm. But I, you know, so we, we do talk about that kind of thing on the uh, the why we love episodes. Yes. So you got everybody's got their role. Brian is the informed about everything. Desra's the informed about everything and gets motion <laughs> and gets- sickness, <laughs> and I'm the one that's clueless that looks for them for information. <laughs> Jeremy, Jeremy's your '80s movies guy. Yeah, yeah. I'm like the. Hey. Borderlands community is angry that Gearbox made Borderlands 2 VR rather than finish Borderlands 3. (laughs) However, it was revealed that Borderlands 3 will also launch in December or January. Huh. Huh. That's flat gaming. We don't care about flat gaming. I wonder if they're going to do a a patch to make Borderlands 3. Also, there's no way it's the same team that's 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 porting over Borderlands 2. No, they toss that to somebody else. Is it Lloyd? It's Lloyd, Lloyd, it is yeah, Lloyd in the Sony yeah. basement. Yep. Yeah, yeah, trying he, to figure out Lloyd's how to hot at work. He's flip, doing flip everything. that switch, make it happen. <laughs> All right, what do you guys think? Should we begin this show the way we begin every show, Michelle? What? Oh, sorry, I was reading. She says uh, yes. With a little Kev, game, of should we or shouldn't we? We put ninety seconds up on the clock. Put the clock up on the counter the way that Jeremy likes it. Well, it's 
windy out there so it won't fall on the counter. <laughs> and it's our time to tell you who? The Loyal Game Catch. Round. Whether you should or should not be watching and or playing the things we've been watching and or playing. Who would like to go first, Jeremy? Sure. On your mark. Get set. Go. Go. Oh, damn. Someone emailed me a clock. Oh, oh for real? Yeah, someone made us a clock. I, I, I'm a sorry. I'm uh, very Analog next or week. digital? I, I don't know. It wouldn't work. I, I had to bring it over Did you this. wind it? I don't know. You lost 10 seconds. You didn't wind? Oh, that's He's good. He's got nothing to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> this, is what he does. this is what he does. So I uh, I finished and completed Beat, my second VR game ever. Woohoo! Transference. Yeah. I, yeah well, cheers. Bank. Cheers. Yeah, I'm coffee. not toasting to that. That's an embarrassment. It's <laughs> embarrassment. I don't even want you to talk for the next 61 seconds. So, go ahead, talk. Okay. <laughs> so, and I I loved it, and I thought it was great, and I thought that just the uh, building intensity of of the voices and everything with the sound. I know you guys said play it with headphones in because yeah. it's incredible. Without headphones in, I wanted to. I mean, I did take the headset off many, many times to look down and make sure nobody was about to grab my legs or whatever. <laughs> but, um, you know, after it ended, I had many thoughts. Number one, I had the thought of, wow, that was kind of short. Yeah. But I also had the thought where it made me want more, which might have been the perfect time to end the game. Because mm -hmm. I don't know if longer of the same stuff would work or hold my interest. And if a second one came out and they did the same stuff... Would we be even into it as much as we yeah. were with the first? So I just think that they, for the length and what it had, it was perfect. And I don't know if more would have been better. I think it would have been worse. You know? I, I would have taken more. <laughs> <laughs> and so it's a definite should we. Loved it. Loved it. And I know I said you should have last week when I yeah. played the first half. But now I complete it, played the second half. No spoilers I saw last week. Somebody said, please, no spoilers. Yeah. I'm just saying it was fantastic. And I, while I want more, I don't know if more So you're okay needed. with the price point, $25 for like two hours. You're okay with that? You know what? For how much I enjoyed it, for some reason, yes, I am. I mean, it's so well above beyond my price point. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm satisfied and I'm not upset that I spent the money. I thought it was great. I want to interrupt and throw a shout out to uh, Hugh Giver. Yeah. Uh, I'm guessing that's Mac, Australian $5. Max $5. Son. Uh, <laughs> uh, PSVR without parole equals number one PSVR show, therefore also the number one gaming show, period. I cannot fault your logic there. Thanks, buddy. No. I think that, that, that very, follows very, very, Thank very solid. You. Now, now you just need to change your name to Hugh Giver, the game cat. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we, uh, we we brought viewer Are takeover you? back. It's going to be uh, it'll be airing tomorrow uh, at this time at noon, uh, noon Eastern, and uh, and and we we are making a huge uh, push for everyone mm. change the name to GameCat again. Yeah, yeah, because uh, that, that is always so cool when we see somebody in the comments with the name GameCat. And uh, William Brinkley is talking about his tracking issues, and he had a very similar one. Like I had my magenta wall behind me. Yeah, that when I played in the afternoon, like I would. My tracking would be fine until I played like a certain time in the afternoon. I couldn't figure it out for the longest time. That's because I had just this one spot of light that would bounce off. I've got uh, kind of these magenta walls in my house. Magenta. And it would just get confused between that. So if you're having tracking issues, don't freak out on the equipment. Just take a good look around your room yeah. and see if there's any like weird shining or flashing lights behind you. Um, you know, the, the good thing about PSVR is it's very easy to set up because it uses a very simple light tracking. The bad thing about PSVR is that simple light tracking can get confused pretty easily with environmental lights. So, okay. I, I feel like mm -hmm. I never have the issues anyone else has. Like well, because I, I, you don't I, have any light in your yeah, room. Yeah, there's no light allowed in here. But. <laughs> right. uh, but so but why don't people follow suit? Yeah. Close, close, your, close your windows, close your blinds, don't let any light in internal or externally. Quick. And uh, and just live in it like a vampire. The and shade I have the problem <laughs> because I live alone. I don't see what the issue is. Well, th that was the plan with um, um without Pearl Studios beta. Uh, I was going to do that in my basement, oh, yeah, and right. then I realized my ceiling was about six inches too short for me to play well ninety percent of PSVR games. <laughs> oh, yeah, nah. like, and I, I talk. I actually seriously had a talk with my wife about take. We've got like a drop ceiling. Yeah, like talk to her about taking that out, and she's like, no. No, not not just for a game. So 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 the series conversation lasted only moments. Yeah, it was. Hey, can we? No. no. <laughs> I was like, All right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it's fair. That's fair. Uh, Des, are you up next for? Yes. On your mark. What's the name of the, <laughs> the ping pong game? I'm sorry, it's Rocket. Ra Rocket Fury. Rocket Fury. Rocket it better Fury. be Rocket Fury, otherwise yes. I have no idea what's called. On your mark, it's set. Right. Go. So yeah, um, my my 
should be right now. Uh, I'm actually working on some reviews for some stuff, but uh, Racket Fury, I've been playing that. We talked a little bit about it last week, and I hadn't actually tried it. Uh, I played some of it today, and everything you said is 100% true. Um, the physics on that thing are frighteningly good. And not only that, like, I had... Um, a discussion with uh, someone at well, uh, someone at the fencing club about how you know VR is not going to be able to do a fencing game until they get like the haptic feedback thing down. Right. You totally get it. Like I don't know how <laughs> they get, but like it's not just it's not just like a simple bzz, you know the the controller vibrates a little bit. It vibrates for the right amount of time and strength depending on how hard you hit it. Uh, so you actually do get that physical feedback of hitting the ball. For those of you who don't know, uh, Racket Fury is a sci-fi ping pong although it's only sci-fi in that your opponent is a robot other than that it's ping pong yeah and what you didn't talk about is the insane amount of control you have over the physics did i not i i, I don't know if it, well, i don't know i don't listen but, when pe other people talk and i definitely <laughs> don't listen when i talk so you can go into the one one of the menus and basically there's you and a table and you have oh yes yeah. crazy control over like you know what i don't think it's quite responding in the z-axis as much as i'd like so i'm going to tweak that a little bit i mean you literally like they do a good job with the physics off the bat but if you disagree you have insane amount of controls over that kind of stuff so wow. definitely uh if you're a ping pong or table tennis fan at all absolutely pick it up i mean that's got to spoil my review but <clears throat> ah, Spo hey, spoil hey i spoiled my home sweet home review you spoiled your racket <laughs> review everything's awesome we're good to go everybody's happy yep nice uh i guess i should probably yeah. do mine huh sure Oh, man. You got I, 90 seconds. I, I always kind of zone out when you guys do yours, and then, like, I, I think your 90 seconds should be reviewing taking a vacation. <laughs> you should review your vacation. I should review my brand new clean apartment. Would you? Um, <laughs> uh, let's see here. Where is my timer? There it is on my mark. Get set. Go. All right. So I'm going to pull a Jeremy this week because all I do is ever talk about video games. Oh, Thanks, thank you Coco. so much, Coco the Poop. Congrats for KSVR Gamer thank for you. winning the $10 code. Nice. <laughs> Thank you so much, Coco. Yes. Uh, I want to I want to give a shout out to Netflix. Heck yeah, Pocket Monkey. Sorry. I want to give a shout out to Netflix, uh, who I, all month long I've been waiting for their new show, The Haunting of Hill House. Oh yeah. Because they keep you know showing it on the splash screen. They yeah. Started mm -hmm. it up, and I was like, oh, October <laughs> month is here. I want my scary fix. Yeah. And I've had done so many scary things. I've already gone to like the the Factory of Terror, and I've already watched a bunch of scary movies. I've been to the theater. I've like played a ton of scary games. Like I mean, in in a, and I just realized the other day. We're like only halfway through the month. Yeah, I was no, like, something. Oh is, yeah, that's true. Yeah, it's been an incredible scary month already. <laughs> and so, uh, and so then the show pops up, the Hiding of Pill House, and uh, and so I, and I watch all of episode one. Each episode, I love this about about this. It is each episode is about an hour. This is what Netflix gets to do. Some episodes are forty two yep. minutes. Some episodes are an hour and ten minutes. But they're all roughly an hour. Right. And so they're as long as they need to be. There's, that's there's no great. like yeah. you know crazy editing to. Can type, can just like our show right, <laughs> right exactly <laughs> I, no our show is always way longer than it needs to be uh, by by a large margin um, but it's I, I, I thought I was laying in bed and I was kind of like not paying attention here and there and I mm -hmm. thought I'd been through three episodes and then the first episode ended so much shit happened in the first episode yeah. it was out of control got great reviews and it was amazing nice <clears throat> Definite right. should we. I've only seen episode one, but so much stuff happened. I, I, so, I can't wait. So it's a series. It's not an anthology. It is. From, Just launched. I've only seen episode one. Okay. Yeah. But, I mean, it's telling a story. So it, I can't imagine they're jumping. Do you know how many else. episodes it is? Ten. It is ten episodes. Before it goes away, we want to give a shout out to well, uh, Demon's Head. Uh, 4 99 quid. Yay. I guess that's how you prove that. Uh, you. Loving the show. And we're loving you. Thank you. So I'm, I'm scrolling back up here because I, I do feel yeah. bad for him. So Coco said, congrats to PSVR Gamer for winning the $10 code. One. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and then scroll, scroll down. Loving the show from Demon Ted. You know what would be even better than Demon Ted? Demon Ted the Game Cat. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're, we're really pushing this. It was, it's so much fun when people change your name. Can you I, go up? I, I have no. I have no memory. Can you go up a little bit? Someone was talking about oh, my chest. Uh, <laughs> who who is waxing their chest? Well, uh, I think I Met, Metcat was oh, asking yeah. if keep, I shaved it. Keep going. Told him it's just naturally more. smooth. Uh, whoa, 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 back, Are you back, naturally back. smooth? And then Coco, uh, said Pocket that Monkey, I, Pocket Monkey. Do you not friends? Coco? Have we talked about that before? I mean, God can and says I have no memory. Use natural products. Okay, sorry. I have no memory and I must scream on my chest. I have a little little bit of chest here. Oh, so the, the okay, drum. fine. We can talk about it. No Man's Sky VR. Let's hey, talk about it. Since uh, 
Yeah. Ser- since Seraphim 190, who the fuck is that guy? Who is he? <laughs> yeah. We didn't know. Se- when Seraphim he had is our resident uh, No Man's Sky expert. It's all he does. It's like you think he plays PSVR. No, he's just playing No Man's Sky. So, Every single update, there he for is. For real, live huh? streaming. This is the, this is the game when it came out. I was like, oh my god, they made a game for Des, and I didn't buy it right off the bat. I, I actually, uh, and everyone said, oh, it ended up being crap. So I was like, oh, I dodged a bullet. But then it just keeps like there's updates like, oh, it's actually getting better. And now people are starting to say it's actually the game. It's actually good. Yeah. It was supposed to be when it launched. That's yeah. yeah. And now I'm just like on the fence. And now we're talking about VR support, maybe. Well, and that and that's when I'm finally interested. Yeah. But, but the thing is, Hello Games is not a big studio. No. Right. right? And, and, and as much as I love how, how dedicated they are to their game. They keep going. It's, it's an abduction thing all over again. Yeah. The game, there's no way in hell this game can run at 60 frames a second even on a, on a PlayStation 4 yeah. on a flat screen and so getting it up to 60 frames a second in VR is going to be like a monumental task like you yeah. have to strip this thing down to its bare bones and start it up again I don't it's not like they're flipping a switch here I, yeah. I, I don't I don't see it happening there was a um, there, there, can, maybe we should just address it's this all here. procedurally generated too I mean is that yeah. different in VR I mean, does that affect VR in a sense? <laughs> I mean, processing power it's and whatnot. It's using processing power, right, to to do that. But right. but but I don't think it it doesn't affect VR more. Okay. Right. Yeah. Um. So, so but 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 they basically there's there's nothing confirmed. They, yeah. There was the, a survey was sent out to 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 No Man's Sky gamers. What do you want? What do you want next? And VR was an option. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. It yeah. means it means it means that maybe they're considering it, and maybe they're like, oh, maybe when PS Five rolls around, we'll have enough horsepower to to make right. this thing happen. I have not traded that game into the point that it's got no trade value. <laughs> Just oh, holding really? on wow. to it to wait to see when that patch, if it ever comes out. I, I really I really hope it comes to VR because it's a game that I spent an hour with, mm-hmm. and I was like, yeah, in VR, I'll spend more time with this, but I'm okay. not going to do it on a flat screen. And Pocket Monkey, so I uh, see your offense here. That's awesome. If you're ever in the Northeast, I don't know if you're just hit me up on Twitter and we'll we'll uh, have about or two. All right. And yeah, Saber is not great either. Sorry. We're having a totally different, totally separate conversation. That, do you want to keep going? No, that's good. No, that's you sure? Good. Yeah. All right. I want to give you space to, to, no, that's, that's fine. to, to talk. We no talk, we no talk about nonsense constantly. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Sure. We'll throw that out there. If you're in the Northeast, uh, hit me up on Twitter and we'll find a day to go uh, fence. At Desra. At Desra. It's yes. a complicated one. D E Z R A H. D E Z R A H. It doesn't even like <laughs> flow right. <laughs> uh, we did get a, a pretty cool announcement though uh, this uh-huh. week and that uh, that Rush VR is mm-hmm. coming to PlayStation VR. It's, I believe it's already out. I think it is. On, that's uh, the Paul on Abdul PC. song, right? Rush, Rush. I don't think that's the thing. Is that Paul or Abdul? Oh Isn't God, it? here we go. What did you just? Isn't do? like no. one of our last hits? Yeah. I remember, I was I game ninety tracks. Paul Abdul. <laughs> I have the song in my head now. Thank yeah. you. I don't feel You're it welcome. being Paul Abdul, but I could. Anyways, do Rush, it. we're flying. Oh, is this like I'm a squirrel suit guy? Yeah. You're <laughs> okay. Wingsuit. Wingsuit. Yeah. yeah. I like squirrel suit. Yeah. This looks like a slightly faster eagle flight. With it no does blind, look like with no a blinders. slightly yeah. faster eagle flight, definitely. Yeah. Um, it Can looks, you do it with friends? But not as charming. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It, it's. Uh, I don't know how many friends. Uh, they. I think the PC as version has like need. ten or something. Uh-huh. Uh Ten. Ten online multiplayer. But we we never seem to get the same number when it comes to PSVR. Yeah. So I don't want to start jumping the gun on that. Keanu. Really, Keanu was in the Rush video. Kevin Kratz said. Uh, hello, everyone. I am trying to donate, but YouTube does not allow it in my region, South Africa. Is there a workaround for this or another way? patreoncom slash without parole games, and uh, you can give us a dollar or more every month, and also get something for your money mm-hmm. rather than just getting a shout out on the show. Right. Um, we give you litter box episodes, which is uh, somebody called it a backstage pass, which I really enjoy. I yeah. think that's a Nice thing, backstage pass to without parole. You get some extra video content. You get some MP3s every week. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm on vacation right now, so I didn't put up last week's litter box episode. Right. Uh, you're getting two litter box episodes this week, though, because bum, bum, bum. That, that'll make up for not having right. one already. Uh, I apologize. Uh, also, yeah, and and nothing against the, the, like those of you who are donating during the stream. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. But like that five dollar donation, that's five months of Patreon support. So hey, yeah, you know. But or by all means, 50 is, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, we we don't we do not turn away any money for any reason. Uh, 
unless somebody's trying to you know should I, ooh. yeah What's see up? astrobot was the first game i played that i was like i wish my kids were old enough to try this so, wait, wait, so wait. adversary one should i let my six-year-old play astrobot no. how do kids in vr work out is no. it legal so legal <laughs> is a whole yeah, other question yeah every manufacturer who's released uh, a vr headset has said some variation of people under the age of x usually around 12, 12 or so yeah. shouldn't play vr yeah the thing is there's no hard evidence either way right now, whether it's a good or a bad thing. Um, personally, my gut tells me eyes more. And it's not even the eyes so much. Your brain at that uh, level is still developing how I interpret this 3D world and make it in 3D space. And when you're jamming a screen in front of your eyes and telling it this thing that's close to your eyes is actually really far away. Yeah. There is going to be some neurological confusion there, I think. <laughs> yeah. But again, the evidence there is no actual evidence or research either way. So your kids and, but eh. and it's scary the way that we're going to gather the data is just oh well yeah remember 40 years ago when that vr launched and all those kids now have like the uh, yeah. omni grab well, did, did um did michelle tell you about her whole, whole thing with like uh she actually has no death perception and didn't realize it yeah which explains her driving <laughs> hitting everything left yeah. and right yeah, yeah. 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 so first yeah, i thought um, it was my fault so <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, the fact is, so she was enjoying VR, but actually, we've now discovered, wasn't getting a full 3D image out of it. Yeah. Um, Which is why we kicked her off the show. <laughs> I'll say it, no, because that's going to start rumors. Oh, yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Michelle, Michelle left, and we want her to come back, and but she has a real life now. Yeah, yeah. We're waiting. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, for, for me, like personally with my kids, I'm erring on the side of caution. Yeah. Because like, what, I mean, do a cost benefits. If there's nothing wrong with it, then okay they wait a few months you know like my daughter she just turned 12 you know she had to wait a few months my son's nine you know he's gonna have to wait a couple years okay big deal they had to wait yeah worst case scenario is there is something terribly wrong that messes yeah. them up neurologically i was like okay i love the vr gaming and yes i'm robbing them of that experience but i might not be doing you know i might right. be causing harm if i just let them try to really yeah, so i want them to piss when they hear a bell go off or whatever weird things might <laughs> come down the road from playing VR too young. Yeah. You know? Very strange household your kids are being raised in. <laughs> well, it's just every time he puts the headset on, he dings a bell. Yeah. Which, right. Yeah. Which, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and also, I, I don't want to, I don't want to get too serious about this, but, um, but uh, we're, we're, start, we're starting to um, determine that all the medical issues that I've been having. Mm hmm. Uh, oh right, yeah. It's, it's coming. It's coming from eye strain, and I, and I want to thank whoever was suggested it uh, on Patreon. I don't know. I don't remember who it was off the top of my head. Because I was like, "Oh, you're crazy," and then I started looking into it. And I was like, "Oh, you're not so crazy." Um, talk, talking about like, I could sleep for twelve hours and not get enough sleep um, because because uh, all of this stuff I'm taking in, all this blue light from yeah. from VR, from 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 computers, from screens, editing nonstop, the whole the, everything that I do in life and not going outside. Um, is, is creating is, is keeping me from being able to dream properly so it means even if I get 12 hours of sleep yeah. I'm not actually getting any rest um, on top of that um, and not producing uh, serotonin so like it's yeah. caused, causing depression and it's like there are a lot of things even as an adult that too much VR can can cause issues with right um, so and I'm finding that out I'm like I probably played probably played in the last two years more PSVR than anybody oh, it's insane. You know, and, yeah. uh, and, and it, it, it's caused an issue right, like and, that, and that's one thing man. there is hard science like you're looking at your, your new iPhone the Android tablets and all that they have this blue light mode this is stupid it's like no there's actually hard science and data behind the whole blue light thing right. yeah. we don't have that data and there there are people in the chat now and I knew it was going to happen like my kids do this my kids do oh, yeah, absolutely. so here's an it's important a, thing yeah. about science the plural of anecdote is not data your kids are fine great right. but your story doesn't mean that that's what holds true for everybody the majority of people that's not the way science is done so hey if it works for you and your family and your kids awesome oh, yeah. we, we don't want to tell we don't want to tell anyone no, what to no. yeah. ever but on the flip side we also can't advise hey this one guy said it was okay so go for it <laughs> so it must be fine <laughs> yeah um yeah. and and yes i i'm not i am again not dismissing your experience i'm just saying you know frighteningly enough people might see us as some kind of authority and if, oh, yeah, if what don't. we say is going to be the deciding factor between anything you do, oh, God, that's <laughs> terrifying. Um, we want to make sure that there is no solid answer yet. So, your yeah. discretion. I saw the word glasses, and I didn't read the comment. It just reminded me, now that 
when I play VR now, actually the last month and a half, anytime I do, I just take my glasses off. I think it was when we were here. Talk- what happened? VSVR gamer. Okay. Yeah, I saw it too. Too much VR. Watch the documentary. <laughs> uh, Nick Garcia, or Nick Garcia, depending on how you pronounce it. Uh, Nick Garcia asked if I'm going to be watching a new Halloween movie. Yes. And you better oh, yeah. fucking believe it. Uh, I might even check that out. That, I is, on see my, that. Uh, that is on my... It's coming out next week. It's coming next out next week. week. <laughs> next week. And uh, it's, it's strangely... It doesn't look like a traditional Halloween movie. It's not. Right? It's like no. Jamie Lee Curtis fights back because you got like a shotgun and shit. Yeah. I'm like, eh, now I'm, that doesn't make me want to see it. The fact that it's a new Halloween movie yeah. makes me want to see it. I'm going to see it. Don't I'm worry. nervous they're going to predator this shit. Oh, let's hope not. Yeah, because, yeah. I mean, again, predator, scary. I mean, even the first wasn't scare, scary. It was just, I don't know, it was awesome. It's just awesome. This one is just hilarious. Yeah. You know, so I hope they don't take Halloween and make it like, oh, Jamie Lee fighting machine, Wait, I mean, it, shotgun. It was all final things that said they wanted to donate on the show? Uh, yes, maybe. Okay, no. Just, just, no, no. No, that was somebody different from Africa. What? I uh, wasn't sure all final things. Oh, okay. Things. Because I was like, yeah, he's already a Patreon supporter. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm to... trying to get caught up here. Sorry. No, we appreciate, we absolutely appreciate your generosity. Thank you for yes, offering the lump you. sum. But honestly, I mean, the lump sums are great. Yeah. But the Patreon support is a long term that we can actually start to count on and budget for. Yeah. we if we if When we get to a certain amount, obviously, I can quit my job. When we get to a certain other amount, Des gets to quit his job. Um I think I, we're, we're, we're going to make Jeremy my... sell cars forever. Yeah. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's I thing. need too much income. Yeah. Um, Solovision, have a nice, uh, have a nice rest of your day, dude. Thanks for uh, Solovision. Take later. We'll see ya. Yeah. Uh, so, what, what other, what other <laughs> scary movies are coming out this month? Because like, it's just to kind of like round up, round out the uh, not my neighborhood season. Man. I think Halloween was like kind of the last one. We were kind of wondering why it was coming out on the nineteenth. Yeah. You know, like why not earlier, or why yeah. not, or why not on Halloween? I think we were There's thinking earlier. The yeah. house with the clock in its walls. I saw that. You know what? Can was I tell it? you something? Yeah. I took my kids to see it. Yeah. Jack Black. I'm thinking kind of like Night at the Museum, whatever. They or wanted goosebumps. to see it. Yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah. So I'm sitting there, right? And I'm like, and I'm overly protective. I'm way the opposite of what I appear to be here. <laughs> and I'm sitting there and I'm like, oh, dear Lord. I'm like, I know my eldest is fine, but I'm like my other one, my younger one, my seven-year-old, she, you know, I, I was like, is this too scary for her? And it was like, oh, maybe I should take her out of here. This, And she wasn't saying nothing. Yeah. So I'm letting her ride out. And every other minute, it was like, this is kind of creepy. And really? at times, okay. I'd be like, hey, Madeline, so blah, 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 ha, 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 you know, just trying to make light of it. And she's right. like, uh-huh. And back to it. And then afterwards, okay. when we're like in the car, I'm like, hey, Madeline, so uh, I'm going to be a little creepy. And she's like, yeah, yeah, at points, it was a little bit scary, but I liked it, you know? Oh, so great. I was like, all right, good. But, um, How was she that night? Huh? How was she at that night? No issues. Oh, yeah, all nothing. Right. And then she was like, but dad, I wish you'd stop fucking talking during the movie. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> but yeah, she, um, yeah, it was a little bit scary, more scary than I thought. And again, maybe I'm just a big puss because I'm overly protective of my no. daughters. Do you think we would think it was scary? No. Okay. No, not at all. Just making sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I, like, I don't want to miss one. No, yeah. it's like, right? Kids scary, but like highly detailed. And then the dude that's dead comes back to life and looks like a Spoilers. a real dead guy. No, yeah. it's kind of a known. I mean, maybe it's not. Spoil everything. Yeah, even, that's not the end. You even spoil things that no one wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh man! All right, who here has man boobs? What Metcat? What are you doing? I don't have what man you, boobs. What are you doing? Just, I'm just reading random comments. What am I doing? He yeah, wants so to, the he's talking, City. Cornerstone City is talking about the uh, the glasses. Yeah, I have glasses sitting over there. They make me look like Bono. I'm not a fan. Um, <laughs> in fact, I so here here's the, the three things that that are recommended for eye strain. Okay, one, wear the Bono glasses. One. Right. Cut, cut a hole in the box. <laughs> right. Exactly. So, so you're wearing like the orange glasses. They're, they're, I know there are ones that are not orange. There are ones that are more styly, yep. like, styly, <laughs> stylish, 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 and they and they don't have to be that color. Uh, I get the cheap ones just to see like how it how it worked, and then I could always like buy nicer ones. <laughs> yeah. Right. Also, eye drops. Apparently, when you're like using uh, VR and staring at a computer screen, yeah. you don't blink as often as you should. Mm. I had no idea. Your eyes dry out. It's bad yep. for it. So I'm using eye drops when I'm staring at the computer. And then three, three. Uh, take melatonin before you go to bed. Yeah. Right. You take melatonin because then because then it drops it, it, it drops that and creates a seesaw effect and it raises it and then that in in turn will raise your serotonin levels uh, for when you wake up. Yeah. And, and, and then you just don't wake up with uh, with headaches. Hey, Thank you Raleigh so gone. much, Raleigh Gone. Support these guys on Patreon. Best PSVR content on YouTube Aww. and 
Random con- content on YouTube as well. Random yes. 80s, 90s movies, music comments. Eye strain. Eye strain, <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah, yeah but that's the thing. Uh, Man uh, boobs. My wife works uh, in front of a computer all day for her job, and she was having some serious problems. The same thing. It was just basically ended up being eye drops. With a, yeah, same idea. Yep. It's crazy. I was, going, I was going to doctor after doctor for all these different things. At one point, they thought I had <laughs> cancer, right? All this crazy shit. And Never then they're like, oh, Dylan. Brian's playing. And, and every single one of them, they're like, they're like, what do you do for a living? I didn't even tell them I waited tables. I yeah. was like, oh, I, I play video games for a living. I, I do the VR thing. Mm-hmm. I was like, I, I'm editing video constantly. I'm telling them this stuff. Yeah. No connections made. Hmm. They're like, maybe we should get you on antidepressants. I'm like, jeez. I, 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 VR I wake up is with, my antidepressant. I'm like, I wake up with headaches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my like, eyes hurt all the time. My butt sore, and I play this VR thing constantly. It's my living. I'm my like, hmm, sore. what could it be? Yeah, yeah, like stop getting. And let's see. I I didn't have these problems before. About two years ago. <laughs> yeah. And about two years ago is when I started playing VR all the time. I started having these yeah, problems. right. No connection. How did I not make the connection? <laughs> the question, <laughs> yeah. Right. I, well, I, I think it's the same thing. It's like it's like oh, why am I? Why, <laughs> I got a monkey. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. This this is it, Pocky Monkey. You, all right, you all right. When you're getting old, we get the hint. But did, I think I think we're all in the same boat here, right? So it's like you know we're trying to pass on the wisdom. So Even that, you youngins, right? I, I was like, how come I'm gaining weight? I was like, I don't want to blame the pizza. Do you see <laughs> those new glasses for driving while uh, reading? While you drive? Oh god, that sounds horrible. Not the driver reading and driving, okay. but like the passengers. They have these glasses that have like a liquid. That move to represent the horizon, I guess, to keep you feeling not nauseous. Oh. And I wonder if Interesting. somehow movements in the head, slight movements we're in the headset, if that would somehow prevent motion sickness, make you feel. But then there's a synthetic horizon. I don't know how that would work. So I really hope Minecraft will add a VR option one day. Uh, it does if you play on PC. Also, this is coming from uh, YouTube user Spaza27. YT Minecraft tutorials. So, <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, be- I believe um, the they're on the bleh, bleh, ha, ha, hmm, words. Yeah, I think there is a VR version for uh, some of the PC versions, but no. Yeah, and even if there's not, there's there's right. those nice little hacks that make that turn every game into VR. Yeah, and and th- the other thing is too, like Sony and Microsoft aren't really, you know, they don't get along too well anyway. So I don't think Sony's bending over backwards to make Microsoft more money. No. Yeah. No. No, because Microsoft owns Minecraft. No, if you don't know that. Indeed, uh, let's. You know, I think we need to uh, we need to talk about this a little bit because you, you got about twenty minutes left before you mm-hmm. gotta go. Uh, we need to talk about this thing right here. Does this Woo-hoo. look familiar to anybody? That looks like the street in front of the Hanover Theater in Worcester, yeah, Massachusetts. That's right. This is, I was wondering where you were walking to in here. I'm like, where's <laughs> yeah. what building is he going? That must be a different entrance to so the studio. This is this is the introduction to uh, the PlayStation VR Award Show 2018. Um, and uh, and I and I kind of want to talk a little bit while while we had Des here about how how this whole thing came together, um, and about how we were is like we had been filming all night long. Mm-hmm. You and I, you and I were getting a bunch of work done for the for the uh, for the award show. It's what and two o'clock in the morning. I think we were filming this. at two o'clock in the morning. I'm walking Des to his to his car outside my apartment building, and I'm trying to explain to him my vision for the introduction to this to the to the entire award show, and he goes. Awesome, but do you really want to do that by yourself at two o'clock in the morning downtown Worcester? And I was like, "Oh, that's an excellent yeah, point." Not. I'm like, "Do you want to come back tomorrow?" And he goes, "Let's do it now." I was like, "It's two a.m." It's like, "All right." So, so I'm here. <laughs> so for the next like half hour, you think half hour or so, we're walking around all the streets of Worcester, driving around, trying to find the best locations, yep. what looks the best, and uh, and I have to tell you. What's just coming up? What <laughs> looks really nice. It's getting better. But but I got to tell you that the footage looked horrible because <laughs> because every step I took yeah. was like <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. all over the place and I had to learn how to uh, how to minimize that Walks in Premiere. Like, like yeah, we don't have the budget for study cams quite yet. <laughs> no, but this is as steady as it gets. This yeah. this is infinitely better than the raw footage. I had I I learned a lot yeah. um, during making this thing. You know, one thing that you, besides the city coming up, one thing that you don't have surrounding your apartment by like about five miles is probably attractive people. Try commuting here and looking around. Yeah. There's no attractive humans. <laughs> At least my opinion, I guess, what, yeah. what, what would be attractive. 
But anyways, there it is. I mean, it, it's it's. I, for a second, I thought I spelled PlayStation wrong. I was like, Can Jesus Christ. <laughs> right. So now, now here's here's something I want to talk about, right? So this thing starts up. Yeah. And uh, in, in the comments, I was watching. You know, we're obviously trying to keep an eye on the comments while yes. we're getting this thing out like live. And uh, and I was like, big explosion. All the different games instead of instead of without parole. Uh, reviews. We have review without parole awards going by mm-hmm. at the bottom of the screen. Yeah. Trying to make it like the beginning of a, a, a review. In, but those reviews, this music, only goes for six seconds. So no one ever, ever, ever heard more than more six of seconds yeah. of the review yeah. thing. And, uh, and I was like, man, oh man, for, for any loyal game cats out there, like, if anybody cares about this shit as much as I do, mm-hmm. I'm like, it's going to hit home the second that seventh second hits. When they're like, oh, Wait. fuck, there's more to this song. <laughs> Right, and we play it live every time. <laughs> yeah, every time. And, there's a re- strike up the band. <laughs> and and man, and man, when like when and when I was watching the comments and it and it hit home the same way for everybody that it hit home for me when I was yeah. when I was putting this together, I was like, fucking amazing. Like I was, this is when I was like. Shit, this might this might oh, go the, over. I have okay. a question about what just happened. Beat Saber. Yeah, <laughs> you, know some, you know something we don't. What? Yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, okay. like by the by the end of twenty eighteen. Yes, we know that. I was like, oh, are, are we reviewing this out? One of the nominees? I, I don't. Oh, yeah, those those were definitely not all nominees for sure. Now this. Now, what video, show is this? Was this like stock footage or is this like an actual <laughs> no, show? This is totally stolen. Okay. Uh, I probably shouldn't playing. be admitting this. I probably should not be admitting this uh, live. But but I basically just searched for like live footage. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like a Tesla show or something like that. Yeah, t- Tesla. It was something ridiculously <laughs> lame. And, uh, wow. and it, but it was from like seven years ago, and uh, and the guy barely had any views. And uh, but if I was but I was watching it. You know, you walk in, it's got all the flashing lights and everything. And I was yeah. like, this is exactly what I'm looking for. <laughs> right. I'm like, I'm only using seven seconds of it. I'm like, I'm sure it's fine. I thought yeah. it was the beginning of like rock band VR or some <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, no, somebody, somebody in the comments asked me where we filmed it. And I, was I like, saw that in my mind. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, it, it looked really crisp. Like it, it, it had that like generically high quality <laughs> stock footage feel. Yeah. Like it, it doesn't look like someone's you know phone just walking around backstage at a concert. So yeah, uh, but but I, so this, I guess this is the point where I want to thank everybody for their participation because I was telling Seriously. I was telling Jeremy before the show like everyone was like Brian you did such a great job you did such a great job oh my god blah, blah, blah. but like honestly if if it was if it was just me or even or even just without parole it would have been a little bit boring I think ninety mm. percent of the excitement was who's the next presenter. Who's the next presenter, yeah. and how are they going to present it? Like, yeah. You know, every every single person that we asked to do it not only said yes, but also brought their own flair to it. Yeah. yeah. You know, it was awesome starting off with Michelle C and Mama Cat. Yeah. And then going right into, I believe it was God Cannon up next. Mm-hmm. And it, then after that, it was Gamer Tag. It was. And it was yeah. just like bam after another after another after another. It's like yeah. these are these are without parole favorites. These are people that we fucking love. Yeah. You know, and for everyone to just participate the way they did and, and just be like without it, like no one said I don't know. Everyone yeah. was like, "Yes, yeah. of course we'll do this," and that's and, and you guys are all awesome. No, and, Matt and speaking for myself, he wants to introduce next year. <laughs> Close Perfect. on Matt. Well, we don't know. Yeah, yeah. We, we'll see. We'll see how it works. Ne- next year could be a massive snorgy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, for me, like, I'll be honest, I was a little less interested in like, okay, here's the categories and who won, blah 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 blah. It was, oh, this is a chance for us to get together as a community and celebrate a thing we all love. Yeah. You know, whether whatever game is won specifically, not to diminish your your victories, y'all. You know, I mean, you earned it, but it was. I, I think it was just cool seeing the different presenters and seeing like, yeah, this is something that even though it's under our umbrella as the you know without parole, it's still everybody's show. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely, uh, you know. I think I think from the get go, we've tried to we've tried to make without parole as, as much about the community as it is about the games, uh, mm-hmm. and as little about ourselves as possible. Yeah. Right. Like I mean, it's it's we are so irrelevant when it comes down to it. <laughs> we want to focus on the games. We want to focus on the community. We want people to talk about the people playing the games, and uh, and 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 you guys are all incredible. And I and I can't wait for next year because I think next year we're gonna have twice as many categories. Mm-hmm. We're gonna have twice as many presenters. Oh. We're gonna have everything you know and, and and we're gonna have five times as much time to plan it out and make it that much better uh thank you jay meow yeah. wait did he change it it looks like jay meow yeah he finally changed it because it was meow down right? it was meow down forever he finally changed it. i'm still buzzing from that show it was so it was so much it wasn't much it was so much it was, and was it so much fun so was it, it, was, so it much? was just so, so much, much. Just everything was so much so much anxiety <laughs> I don't know, whatever. So, uh, and yeah, the static devs doing the in-game footage, that was amazing. That's the other one I want to touch on. Yeah. It was, 
it was great seeing the community uh, the community get together but it was also gratifying having the developers like take us seriously yeah the, the ones we reached out to and it was just like yeah. I was like you know what we to a lesser degree and Brian to a greater degree have been busting our asses trying to make this a thing and getting that validation from the developers saying not only are we going to acknowledge your channel exists but we're going to take time out of our schedule and like you know Anna Ribeiro from uh, Pixel Rip she actually like it was like pulling you know it was difficult to get her to do this because she was so incredibly busy she yeah. was like at three different cons she was, yeah, yeah. Right, she was at IndyCon in IndyCade yeah right and she and, uh, and she was like oh I'm definitely gonna do it I'm definitely gonna do it but she had and she had no internet connection at IndyCade mm -hmm. and she tried to send it to me and then and she was like here, here you go and then that she said here you go and then I didn't hear from her for 12 hours and I was like oh my god like I'm literally moments away from having to render some yeah. some of this stuff to have it ready for and and I was like freaking out like I didn't sleep at all the night before it was awful <laughs> but it, it just it just felt great to see like these people who have made the games that we love so much yeah. actually like are taking us you know kind of seriously and, and again Static making that in-game footage was crazy <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, and, uh, and I remember I was having a conversation I think on the phone yeah on the phone with uh, with with Dave Station VR, uh, before all this, and I was telling him, I was like, I was like, oh, you know, I, I sent out, I sent out requests. This is when I just hadn't gotten any response from anybody. I sent out requests to developers, and he goes, "Do you think that you're even going to get a response from somebody like like?" He goes, "Say Resident Evil Seven wins." Yeah, it won by the way. <laughs> uh, so Shocker. He goes, he goes, "Say Resident Evil Seven wins." Do you think you're ever going to hear a word from Capcom? And I was like, "No, probably not." Yeah. Every single developer got back to me, mm -hmm. including Capcom. Wow, they actually so, got back. To and you. every single one, Supermassive, Capcom, every single uh, Impulse Gear, every single one got back to me, even if to say, "Sorry, we can't." Yeah, you know, we're we're very busy, or, or the team is traveling, or this or that, or whatever reason. And sometimes every... there are legal reasons that they actually can't. <laughs> oh yeah, no, and, and trust me, I learned a lot of lessons about who you're supposed <laughs> to talk to and who you're not supposed to talk to when it comes down to these kind of things. Yeah, um, <laughs> talk talk to Sony. About that, um, but <laughs> but, uh, but Sonic the, the GameCat. We're talking about that right now. But the fact is, they're very very understanding as well. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm a dude in my bedroom yeah. trying to make something happen here. Yeah. Turns I was like, out, thank you for being. Aren't awesome we guy. all, Brian? Just dudes in our bedroom <laughs> trying to make something happen. I'm usually a dude on the subway <laughs> trying to make something happen. <laughs> subway, no wow, well, kinky. Oh, oh yeah. unless you're a dude at subway, really. We don't have a subway. You have to go to yeah. subway. At, at Are you one of those people that stands shop. awkwardly with their like hips out? Not awkwardly. In, in like no. subways, trying no, to like super weird pose, but not awkwardly. <laughs> Did you guys make and send them actual physical trophies? Not this year, no. but who knows what next year might bring? Yeah, ne next year we have we have so many ideas for next year. Next I have an idea of like, like just bronze dipped stuffed animal cats. <laughs> oh, I mean, they're definitely going to be cats. Yep. But we'll figure it out. <laughs> a bunch of $3 used um, navigation controllers dipped in uh, bronze. That would kind of hey, be you awesome. you never know when those are going to come in handy. Yeah, I know, really. <laughs> Maybe Dream Match Tennis will show. get multiplayer. Who knows? Yeah. It's insane. Um, yeah, pretty good stuff, though. Uh, so, yeah, we, we do. We just want, we want to thank everybody who, who, who was even remotely involved. Yeah, it was, uh, and, it was awesome. And obviously, we want to thank every single person who watched. Um, there, was, there was a part of me. Uh, and, and I don't think I don't think we even talked about this on the wrap up show. Okay. But there was a part of me that was like, I thought we were going to get some major backlash from this, so from people yeah. on Reddit or something. Who saying, do you think a little you bit. are? Yeah. Who do you okay. think you are? What gives you the authority to to, to give the PlayStation? Because we didn't name it like the Without Parole Awards or anything like that. Right. We I just I just went fucking straight at it and was yeah. like the PlayStation VR Award Show, <laughs> and I was like somebody's not going to be happy about this. Yeah. And yeah. there was like two people in the entire world that saw it and they were not happy about it. Yeah. And I was like goodbye. But right. everybody else was so positive. I was like, kind of surprised. Yeah, you know. Um, and and uh, I remember we were talking at work about like, well, well, who chose these nominees? And, and I was like, well, Des and I did because we probably have played more PlayStation VR yeah. games in the last two years than anybody. Yeah. So like, so like, we we had we kind of had to give ourselves a little bit of credit right. to go. Well, we need to at least structure the show before we like you know push it out and let people vote on it. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. I mean with with PSVR like there are a lot of games out there but you know what, what do you say the attack rate is like seven well that Six, was I mean that yeah. was like back then, launch yeah, like, like seven like, or eight yeah. months ago but at there's least. over you know yeah. over a hundred titles that are available now 220 and, titles yeah okay 200 jeez the Sony has to fix it because if you go on the Sony store now hard drive yeah <laughs> oh my god yes um 
but uh, oh yeah so my point was is like look if we just threw it out to everyone to vote on the nominees it's like well everyone's gonna say you know like the top 10 most popular games and those not aren't necessarily the best it's just something like the invisible hours yeah you know i think that was a game that absolutely deserves some kind of recognition and not a lot of people played it you know so we we, we yeah we took the prerogative i guess of making the nominees yeah and uh, and, and I, I think they, they were obvious i i know i made obvious mistakes uh, and I and I made no bones about admitting that, like you know, there are certain things that every 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 major heavy hitter game probably should have been nominated for two categories, and somehow yeah. the persistence did not. Yeah. And and the fact is, is somehow the persistence didn't get an award, and that is one of my favorite PlayStation VR games. Period. How do you pronounce that one? Jepicondoil. 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 Four ninety nine U.S. dollars. Ooh. Do we, do we have? Is there some kind of like great job limit? at the awards? Can, just bought Astrobot. <laughs> <laughs> just bought Astrobot and Firewall. Would love to be a part of the squad. Any thoughts on Wolfenstein? V- like, Wolfenstein VR. Any thoughts on like on on Cyberpilot, the Wolfenstein VR game that's coming out in uh, January? Is that what you're talking about? Or like actual Wolfenstein? Uh, oh, I want the original like MS DOS Wolfenstein uh, <laughs> VR. <laughs> you, you know what? what? If you guys want um, to uh, discuss what. So Darkwing Astro- Chuck, Invisible Hours was one of the reasons I got PSVR. It was great. It was. Yes, you're right. Uh, yes, Astrobot and Firewall, we've been on and on about those the past few weeks. Um, those are both great reasons to get VR. I think Astrobot is, I think it's probably going to take the place as my intro game to like friends who haven't tried Just VR before. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Job Simulator, Simulator used to be my number one. I think this is going to be real close. A firewall is for my gamer friends, my my gamer, gamer friends. Because uh, it is, yeah, it is not a casual game anymore it is a good game uh, astrobot to show people how awesome vr can look because it's so colorful uh, with yeah. the colors <laughs> yeah, yeah. but um i still like to go to kitchen the uh, yeah. uh resident evil demo because wow. they just okay. sit there and just let it happen around them and it's a good way to like get people who don't really play games mm-hmm. to get like wowed by it right you know but even and- if they're not into horror <laughs> no it doesn't yeah. matter okay. like yeah check <laughs> this out and then they don't know what to expect and yeah. they're like I see them like it's funny you see them, you're sitting there watching and mm-hmm. you see them with their headset and then you see like them just sitting there for a few and that's always kind of like you know then all of a sudden they realize and they're like alright so what do I do I you know, know what, what is about the, the, the kitchen demo um, it's not it's not exactly the voice or what but I picture Charlie Day in the seat <laughs> I, I just why. like that's that's my visual of who's in the seat yeah and I, I, I don't know <laughs> well, was he in the basement killing rats for fun and then he got tied <laughs> up and thrown in the chair and yeah, yeah. who knows but um, yeah, I, I, that and then uh, the Astrobots. Man, World Two certainly just decided to take one level and make it like a shitload longer. Yeah, <laughs> because it's like the the first world. It's like yeah, th- almost the entire length to get through that one portion was almost the entire first yeah planet, if you will. No, they they definitely good job of kind of like easing you into it and yeah. sort of teaching you, giving you a tutorial without giving you a tutorial. And then you so. hear the poor little bots crying, <laughs> and you're like, where is he? And I'm like, I can't find him. And I'm like trying to stand up, look around things, and that I actually, get upset. Yeah, I was, some of them are so well hidden. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah um, they actually got into some like some sort of group play in, in the house, because I was playing it once with um, you know the, the, the kids and my wife in the living room. They're like, oh, I hear him over there. It's like, well, I don't know how you're getting the spatial hearing because we don't have surround sound, but it was great. They were able to actually get involved. Yeah. And so I'm, you know, standing there. And actually what's getting harder is the um, the chameleons. I found either you see them right away yeah. or they're impossible. Yeah. And just like, I hear it. Yeah. Because they Where do make a little kind of I don't know, squiggle sort of yeah, sound. It's like, and it's like, okay, I know it's, I should be able to see it somewhere. And I hope I haven't walked past it. Yeah. Uh, since we got a tip on that, uh, let's let's investigate the uh, Wolfenstein Cyberpilot. Sure. sure. Uh, so let's go over to that. Cyberpilot. Now, are we sure that's what they're talking about, though? Well, I mean, okay. that's what we're going to talk about. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think the last we heard, this was scheduled for like, I, and I don't know if it was a tentative date or whatever, but this is this is January of 2019. Uh, one of the few 2019 games that we're aware of, to be honest. Um, and and it's it's already it's available on Amazon for pre order. Nineteen ninety nine, so we're not expecting a full fledged game by any stretch of the imagination. I'm a little concerned by the look of this that it's going to be a wave shooter, just like uh, everything, everything else. Um, and we only see this like one real environment. I don't think they go too deep into it. Yeah. It reminds me, you know what? That that reminds me of Half Life Two, that that kind of plaza. Yeah, not yeah. the actual gameplay itself, just kind of the. Sure. All right, big Nazi bots. 
I mean, if there's going to be Nazis, they might as well be Nazi bots. Yeah, so nothing groundbreaking, it looks like. Well, yeah. uh, again, but it's... it's. I mean, oh, there's no... Did you see that last word? What was yeah. it? Yeah. A new VR experience. Yeah, well, it's almost yeah. like developers don't realize that's a naughty word. Right. You know? At, at a certain point, they need to stop using the word experience if they want to sell it to us. I think it, it lets you know, it's like, this is not a full game. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the $20 price tag lets us know that already. Yeah. 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 So... I, I don't I don't have any impressions or opinions about it because they showed us so little. They showed us that one plaza, a little bit of an underground tunnel, uh, and it looks again like a wave shooter. Yeah. It doesn't not so, something I'm looking forward to. I'm circling back to my original comment. I want to see the original MS DOS Wolfenstein yeah, with no the idea. flat like just the flat sprites. Like Doom, like the Doom VFR thing. Yeah. 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 But 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 actually, just like I'm actually in the original game. Like the Doom VFR thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the same. Just say. It's really yeah. suck. Well, Half Life in VR. Oh Although God. I've done Half Life so many goddamn times. I haven't. And it see, I've keeps done, getting funnier I've, every single time I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I've done Half Life one once on PS2 mm -hmm. and Half Life two once on PS3 on the orange box, and that is it. So, which yeah. means I was drunk oh. for both of those. I will gladly take either one in VR. Very happy about Portal that. Portal in a heartbeat too. Yeah. I, yeah. I've only oh. played minimal amounts of Portal. Ooh. I would. I don't know. That'd be fucking awesome. You'd have an issue. <laughs> that would be a problematic. Like falling for from the yeah. ceiling and stuff. You're wearing a headset in a virtual reality, cutting holes in in areas to walk through to What's come your out. What's obsession to... with cutting holes in a box? Seeing the back I of know, your own right? head. Yeah. Like, hmm. oh. That's nuts. I want that. Let's, yeah. Lloyd. He's got to make that happen. Soma, Soma Game Cat makes an excellent point. Wow. Um, make it, it's it's coming from a Bethesda studio, so it's probably gonna be pretty polished if nothing else. <laughs> yeah. Really. Yeah. They really do um, polish things. <laughs> you have to go. Okay. Oh my goodness, I have to go. Yes. Ah, right. uh, Seraphim. Yeah. What? What? what I never, yeah. Uh, yes. Elite what? Dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Half Life Two. That's actually a game I still go back and play on a regular basis. It's. Uh, I think it's one of the best made games ever. And once you get the gravity gun at the last level, and you can use it on the bad guys. It's oh. so much fun. Gravity guns. Work All right. That. Adios. Bye, Thank adios. you, guys. Appreciate Thank you. you. I'll see you. Uh, see you tomorrow. Right. Hasta mañana. Oh, sorry. I just made everyone's ears explode. Sorry. Sorry. You just Mikey <laughs> Diaz the fuck out of that thing. All right. Bye. All right. We'll see you. Take it easy, Des. Wait, what is this? Oh, that, that's my tissue. It's, you can you can leave it right there. It's I'll an oddly it. shaped tissue. Where did you have it? Okay. Uh, <laughs> enough. All right. Just so they can see at home. Oh, my God. Where? So I'm touching it. There, there's this. It looks almost like a witch's finger. Dylan Gladstone wants Voodoo Vince in VR. Voodoo Vince? Yeah, did you ever play that on the OG Xbox? No. You ever played Voodoo Vince? I don't even... Yeah. Look at that you, thing. Really, it's my biohazard. <laughs> I mean, you were... We can you, make little Dezes. Do you, do you know what I did in this chair that you were sitting in? He edited a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I edited a lot. That's actually probably the yeah, only very real true. thing. For sure. Uh, all right, so uh, we're going to th gonna throw it to the viewers, I think, for the rest of this. We're just going to tackle... Uh, your comments for the next little bit here. Um, what the heck was Des wiping with that? So we're gonna we're gonna pull back the curtain a little bit. For when Des when Des showed up, yeah, uh, he had cut himself shaving. What in the ear? <laughs> yes, he shaves his ears. Apparently, no, he, he he accidentally he accidentally nicked his ear. His yeah, ear. he uses a lot of yeah. fencing swords. And Have you ever, like, I've, I've nicked, like, the, the corner of my nose before I'm shaving, because sometimes you do it fast, and, like, you just do it the wrong way. Uh -uh. Oh, my God. And then it just doesn't stop bleeding. And that's what happened to Des. He accidentally nicked his ear somehow. And, uh, like, 20 minutes later, he's like, dude, I'm still bleeding. We thought he was just going to, like, bleed out. Like, yeah, just suddenly. pass out. Yeah. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's, that's ridiculous. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, although, if uh, Sheep's Keycat was here, he would be saying that you tried to kill him Where's he been? I don't know. I haven't seen... He hasn't, like, told me I was killing people lately. He makes me wonder, am I waking up in my sleep and murdering people? Well, maybe we know where he you know, went. So the thing is, 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 is <laughs> people, come and pe people come and people go. Yeah. Right? Um, like, what's uh, what's Leonardo's last name? Is it is it Leonardo? DiCaprio? No. Hold on a second. I, I want to see if I actually got his name right. Um... Let me just go real quick. But like pe people, people come and go all the time from our channel. Yep. Uh, and uh, it's like, it's, remember he has like a, a X's in his last name, like T E X I E R A or Tex Texera or something. Oh yeah. yeah. You know, is it Leo? I don't remember, I don't man. It's something. <laughs> and so, but people come and go all the time. Yeah. And uh, Corpse Killer VR, I'll totally take that. Sega CD games need to come back, that's for sure. 
Um, <laughs> but like, but but people have like real lives, yeah, right. And some and sometimes they they don't have time to play VR. They're away from their home, yeah. or like real life gets a hold from of them. Yeah, you know, Adam Hansen uh, is uh, is 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 currently expecting a child. I was like, holy crap! Isn't Adam like Hansen's my gonna age? have a kid. <laughs> I'm like, that's that's insanity. Yeah. So like we're and and, and so like you know he's 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 doing what he's got to do and it's just so crazy to be because my whole life is a, is obsessed being obsessed with this channel yeah and like in making this channel happen which means i gotta play a lot of fucking video games oh yeah right and uh and, and that's and this has been my priority for so long that it feels weird to even be taking like i'm calling it a break i'm calling it a vacation but i'm still gonna be doing this all week long <laughs> i'm just gonna be doing maybe less of it yeah you know spend time with the the new love interest yeah right and uh and and, and but it feels weird to be pulling back so when I see people like living their real lives, it's just it's. I, I always want to remind everybody that real life comes first. Yeah, yeah. You know, we fucking love our video games and we love without parole. Yeah. But man, real life always comes first, right? Take care of what you got to take care of. We're gonna be here for you when you come back. People, you know, where the fuck is Don't Sagacious? I know he <laughs> right? popped in like two months ago yeah, to we say haven't hi. Seen him since. But 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 we 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 we. There are twenty three thousand of you, and yeah. somehow we know all of your names. <laughs> How is that a thing? Right, right. I have regulars at the restaurant that I'm like Psh, I don't even remember them. Yeah, like, you waited on us last week. I'm like I don't fucking know. Yeah, I know. Right? Oh, I hello. Talked to them, like, had hey. conversations face to face. Yeah, right. I know more about these people in our audience than I know yeah. about any of those fuckers. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, and all the names and everything, and you put these. I loved when viewer takeover became a thing because we were able to yeah. see what they look like, what exactly. these people look like. And it's it's neat because, ju- I mean, it's it's hard to explain, put it to words, because you spend time with these people a lot more than I do, because I I just don't have the same kind of time to go and play online with everybody as much as I really really want to. Um, I just find it uh, almost like it's like when you don't get to spend time with family that you want to spend time with. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I I see all you guys playing games, and you know I know you're busy, and so these guys will still do it like. You know, Madman and God can all these guys and Gamer Tag, they all play. Yeah. And it's like, oh. They're all playing Wipeout the other night. Yeah. I just and, stop in. And I, like, want to be a part. It's like, I do. I miss it. I'm like, oh, I wish I could, like, be part of a crew. And it's yeah. like, Jeremy, you're going to play? And it's, but I just don't have that kind of steady uh, level life to commit to something like that as much as I still want to. Lethal Weasel VR makes an excellent point. It's way easier to remember people's names when they end with GameCat. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's like the family last name. That's right. You know? Uh, by the way, uh, as we mentioned earlier in the show, uh, we're bringing Viewer Takeover back tomorrow. It's a thing. It's a thing. Uh, so this is your last chance. I don't think, because obviously we don't have any Viewer Takeover videos ready because we didn't tell anyone it was coming back. So if anybody wants to submit a last minute Viewer Takeover video, and it'll if you send it now... Uh, to without parole at gmail.com. Make it short, make it simple, make it sweet, make it sexy. Um, you can, it, can, it can be on tomorrow's show. Just send it real fucking soon. Uh, if I click that, will that bring it about or only from me? I, I, I don't. What are you doing? This. You, what are you. I'm curious. I, I, I don't. I don't know. Let's, let's view it. Let's see what happens when we click the deleted message. Oh. Nothing. I don't know. It popped up for me. <laughs> I don't know if it popped up for everybody. Yeah, we. I, I think we have some. Uh... Oh, okay. I see oh, what right. happened. I see what happened. All right, Jay, Jay's being Jay's being a good moderator. <laughs> I see what's happening. Um, no political statements on the channel. We like that. We like no political statements. Quite yeah, a bit. I'll leave it. Uh, keep keep religion out of this. Keep political uh, affiliations out of this. Uh, keep. What else? Um. Keep keep fucking uh, racism and homophobia. Yeah, and sexual hate, preferences, all that shit. On any uh, group of people, we don't want to hear about it. Yeah, we're not going to tolerate it. Uh, and that's it. That's pretty much it. Yes, know. exactly. Uh, William Bringley, let's move for again. I sent you a friend request, Jeremy. Any day, any time, homie. I'll help you get good. <laughs> Sweet. That, that guy is will viewer takeover is back. That guy is will if I if he. I tried to get that guy as well to be a, a video uh, award presenter for the oh, show, yeah? and, uh, and, and, and he, he was not able to send video. I desperately want him to take his cell phone and make a viewer takeover introduction. Yeah. Short, sweet, simple, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Everybody wants to see you. I'll go and add him right now. 
I'll go accept that friend request. I've had one on there for like almost eight months that I did not accept because they have no related friends, I guess. And I don't know if... You know how there's those bot ones that are randomly come. Xbox has them too. Yeah. Where and it's they, like, hey, they send me all sorts of sexy pictures. Yeah, it's like, hey, what are you wearing? And it's like, delete. You know, because I'm clearly not wearing anything. Clearly. But I'm not gonna show you. Clearly. So welcome to messages. Oh, sign in is William Jeremy. Brinkley. Please, guys, let's keep this channel free of toxicity. There are no races, religions, or politics here. Here we are all the same. We are all game cats. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, William Brinkley. All right, so let's see. Friends. Where do you go on this fucking app to, like, accept friends? Do you know how to do that on here? Because these apps are just complete, like, what? Just go to your, no you, you, go to your notifications. Back in the regular app? Yeah. And the notification will bring up friend Is requests. Is it the bell? Yes. That, that's notifications Ooh. everywhere. Oh, I got a bunch. Is that Grim Catnip on top? It is. All right. Who else you see got? See this dude right you here. You got God Cannon in there? Who's this? The very bottom one. I've kept it because I don't know who that is. T Dog, yeah, boy. I don't, I don't know. Yeah. There, there are a few. Oh, dude, well, you got to accept the top three for oh, sure. Oh, I'm accepting the all of the three. rest. Yeah, those are new. I haven't yeah, the, logged on, I guess. You get the Livinator on there. We definitely on the accept 7th? that. On the 7th? All right. Yeah. It's, um, it's happening right now. Ad friend. Did, did you accept Metcats? I'm going. God can. He said he can't remember. I'm going. Flat screeners. Did you call Grim them flat Catnip. screeners? Who? Where? William Brinkley just quoted some some of flat screeners. No. You didn't call them that. No. That would be. That's great. I didn't. Know. I, okay, I've been trying. I've been trying to use the term VR and non-VR. Yeah. Like you know when like, you know uh, like when color television came around, and you had, and suddenly you had to differentiate. You had to be like what color in black and white. You know, oh. and it HD and. He thought I was Desra, whoever that person was. Oh, well, you're the same person. Yeah, I mean, me and Des are the same person. That's true. Totally. You're like the other guy on the channel. Who sent me one? Gamertag? I don't know. I don't think I got one from Gamertag. Uh, Boy Brown says, I'm going to watch your sale recommendations. I'm thinking Drive Club and Eve Valkyrie. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, Drive Club and Eve Valkyrie are both fantastic games. Drive Club's like $4. $4 and like 19 cents, I think. It's ridiculously cheap, and it's a full-fledged driving game. Uh, the tracks are a little blurry, but man, it is... Still my favorite driving game. It was... Like, car driving game, even though Dirt Rally and G GT Sport yeah. are, like, technically superior games. Yeah. I just I just like Dirt Rally. Uh, I like... Uh, Drive Club. Drive Club VR better. I, I love, like, the full grid of racers. I love driving by and looking at the other racers. It's as incredible. It's awesome. That, f that fucking racing game, unlike any other one, I especially when I first started playing it, I'm telling you, I had to, like... Squint my eyes and close my eyes from the sheer sense of speed that my brain was thinking it was getting. Do you know what I mean? Like I, as I was driving, I'm like, ah, oh, and I'm turning the corners and it was like, oh my God, I knew it wasn't real, but my brain felt the sensations of the churns and it was just like, it was so awkward and exhilarating all in the same moment and also uh, making me slightly nervous that VR was going to make me nauseous constantly. Yeah. So I was like, ah, oh, and I'm taking the corners and I'm like squinting to get a, like, a better grasp around the corners to just, I don't know, make my brain work and not get nauseous. I almost, until fell, eventually off, I almost I was, fell off my couch the first time I took oh, it from the drive yeah? club. Yeah. Oh yeah, I almost fell over completely. It's incredible. I was like, whoa, like, yeah. totally like, like had to catch the couch. It really gives you that feeling. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it was also one of like the first games I played too. Yeah, but still, I don't know why I can go back to that game and jump in and it's like, whoa. I mean, it's now it's different. I'm not squinting and shit, but yeah. I, I have a bad feeling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is. I got to delete a friend request. Why? Lolly Girls nineteen. Hey, I'm gonna get off here right now. But if you ever want to text me, here's my number. Nope, that's not real. Oh, I thought it meant if you want. I'm gonna get off here right now. So I want to put the camera on and watch that happen. Not, I just got a phone, a phone number. Uh, yeah, if you put a phone number in your friend request, it's probably not right. Right? Yeah. I want to. I want to add to know is to die. Yeah. yeah, if anybody wants to... Yeah, we'll, yeah can we throw... I'm going to just throw mine up there because yeah, it's ahead. easier. I have rabies. All one word. No capitals. All... What is it? All Indians. No chiefs. Is that how the expression goes? I don't know. Can I tell you a weird quick story? That that's... That's all we do here. So I remember 
when I was younger, I was probably 18, 19, I was different. I'm not going to get into religious stuff and I wasn't overly religious, but I just, as I'm older, I just, I, I'm open to everything and I'm not, I, I, you were more closed minded at when you were younger. Yes. And I, I feel like most people are more open minded when they're younger and then you were, were the opposite. I was more closed minded. Yeah. Okay. So, and I mean, yeah, I had to go to Sunday school and church and all that stuff. So I, my, my so universe was like limited to yeah. like the planet and God, you know, now that I'm older, it's kind of like science really makes sense to me. You know what I mean? Uh, we'll leave it at that. But when I was younger, I had a shirt that I bought a tool shirt, you know, the band tool uh -huh. when undertow came out oh, it and it was the word tool and the background of it was of Jesus crown of thorns, like from right here. And it said on the back, all chiefs, no Indians or all Indians, no chiefs. And I was like, that's a tool shirt. I'm going to buy it. And then I'm like, I had mixed feelings. Cause I'm like, ah, the shirt is promoting something that I'm, I wasn't like at that point, I like, I was like thinking, yes, there's a God, you know? So I felt wearing that shirt was basically being like against something. I, I was lying, you know, because I felt like the shirt said all chiefs, no Indians, but I had disagreed with that at the time. So I wore the shirt against my beliefs and I ended up getting a sliver under my eyeball. I mean, under my eyelid, where for hours, I couldn't, I almost had to go to the hospital. For, my buddy had to lift open my eyelid, take tweezers and pluck out this little piece of wood that got lodged up on the inside of my eyelid. And I gave the shirt away. I would never wore it again after that. I just felt karma. I was wearing something I didn't believe in to, I, I don't know. So, uh, so yeah. So you, so you think it's time to open the curtain? So I gave away my tool shirt. <laughs> that is totally the kind of story you tell when the curtain is closed. Yeah. Uh, because it's fucking nonsensical bullshit story. Yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here right wow. now? Wow. Yeah. Jeremy, we've totally lost. The second Des walks out the door. That's it. There's no free reign. No no more game talk. Yeah. It's, it's just, it's just, when I was younger, I was weird and I got a sliver in my eye when I wore a tool shirt and I gave it away. Yeah. Also, that's the whole story in case you missed it. That's it. I mean, that's it. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, you know, that's what I'm, I'm sorry. My vacation now. Yeah. Vacations I'm sorry, on. My vacation. uh, <clears throat> are we, is the curtain closed? Are we doing that? Oh, no, no we're not doing it. The game, the show's I was going to say, it's the like show, almost the closed totally time. Over. Yeah. Guys, thank you so much uh, for hanging out with us today. It, we went off the rails. As always, I know that you guys, some of you guys love that. Some of you guys hate that. Um, <clears throat> the guys who hate it left hours ago. Don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or they stuck around just to complain. And either way, yeah. thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> a bunch of games. Uh, obviously, I'm going to get my Home Sweet Home review oh. uh, finished up. I'm gonna, I am going to. got like another hour, I think, to play that. Yeah. Uh, so my review will be up either later today or tomorrow morning, depending on... I'm really not going to stress out this week. I'm just not going to let myself. Um, <clears throat> and then there's also... Uh, there's like that nine dollar drone striker game that like oh, yeah. I'm really excited to play. Yeah, you're pretty nine happy. Nine dollars. Oh shit. How could that? I mean, like I've I've, I've thrown away nine dollars on worse. Oh my god. I right. mean, yeah, right. Constantly, I, yeah. I do the same. Yeah. You spend money and you're like, I didn't need that, and it's like, wow, I could have bought that instead. Bought a brand new PlayStation VR game. Yeah. That apparently is incompatible. <laughs> from really? The, from what the they say, said. yeah. So uh, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of cool things happening this week, um, and and also. Uh, you know, I do want to. I do want to stream The Exorcist, chapter one, two, three, four, five. You should stream something. This I was. It's, you can read my mind, Brian. That, that's what I'm here for. You know, it's they getting do, close to Halloween. The application. They go, can are you a little psychic? And you, if you say yes, you get the job. Right. Yeah. You're, you're Which in. Which is the only reason Michelle got the job. <laughs> what was those dreads? Like, I don't play video games, but I'm a little psychic. Right. Those yeah. dreads kind of pick up on the vibes of everybody else. They're like antennas. They are kind of like an avatar. She connects oh, it yeah. to oh. Aiden. I don't know. Or oh, Aiden came from it. We're getting weird here. Yeah, it's like okay. an... Yeah. But, so... What, what do you want to stream? So, it's getting close to Halloween, and that home sweet home... Yeah. I'm almost tempted to buy it, and then stream it, like, Thursday, maybe, or Monday, okay, or something it, like that. it's going to be that late, don't, don't stream it. I, I actually, I accidentally have two physical copies coming. Accidentally? It's a long story. <clears throat> I only paid for one of them. Nice. Uh, and and uh, and and then I also bought it digitally. So 
So, f- I'm, so I'm, three, so I'm, two digit I'm, a physical. I've spent sixty dollars on this thirty dollar game so far. Yeah, I'm really bad at I'm really bad at wasting money. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'll, I'll I'll get I'll get you one of the retail copies, and uh, and you can Sweet. stream it. Hopefully, sometime this weekend or something. Okay. When when yeah. Like, if uh, so free nights. Oh shit! Possibly. All right. So Thursday this week. Okay. Sunday this week at night. I'm free and Monday. One of those three nights. All right. You didn't watch any of my live stream. No, I, I didn't. No, I Good. didn't on purpose because I almost I I want to play it. Yeah, you need to go in fresh. Oh, yeah. All right. Cool. Well then, we're gonna have content for you one way or another. So don't worry about a thing. Yeah. Uh, you guys all have an awesome rest of your day. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, make sure you come back tomorrow for for the first viewer takeover in a yeah. very long time. And if you want, you have one chance right now to send your viewer takeover introduction. Just be like, hey, I'm whoever the game cat doesn't have to be anything just hello thank you have fun and that's it this is viewer takeover yeah right uh and uh and just send it to without parole gmail.com keep it short simple sweet and sexy yeah and uh and maybe you will introduce tomorrow's show met cat we, uh, <laughs> chest hair we could see chest hair and man boobs man boobs if he, he's got them he was asking who has man boobs i wonder what his i mean what his wife thinks about the him asking about the man boobs situation does he have a wife i i he's mentioned it i uh, thought wife and i think he said kid people talk you know that's my problem yeah yeah i don't know all right you guys thank you so much as always i'm brian paul that's jeremy king and we'll see you next week or actually, we'll, see we'll see you tomorrow tomorrow oh god i'm not good with this whole time thing i know now it's like getting back to that <laughs> and the next week's halloween right next, next week halloween I don't know. wednesday next wednesday's halloween is no or is already, it the week after i think it's the week after what are we on it's the week after. Oh, it's the week after. Yeah. All right. Fuck my thing. Uh, I'm going to run the introduction again. So in case you missed the introduction, here is Grim Catnip explaining Grim Catnip, the game cat. Make sure you change your last name to Game Cat. Be part of the family. He's going to explain the catnip games. We love you all. There it is. Hey, Game Cats. This is Grim Catnip. The amazing piece of video game artwork you see before you was created by fellow Game Cat and new member of the Catnip Games Reward Committee, Wonder Rob. What is Catnip Games, you ask? It's a monthly PSVR game and event founded by the PSVR Without Parole Gamecast community. The event is hosted and sponsored by God Cannon and myself. Each month, we select a PSVR game for Gamecats and other PSVR players to compete in. Winners receive a $20 PSN North American code. And starting today, winners will also receive a physical art piece drawn by Wonder Rob to commemorate their victory. If you would like a chance to win, then be sure to head over to the PSVR Without Parole Gamecast community on your PlayStation and sign up. Dr. Doom will be there to greet you at the door. After that, all you need to do is keep watch the community's event tab for the next Catnip Games event. If you missed your chance to sign up, but still want to watch the event, don't worry. God Cannon and I have you covered. We will be streaming the events live for everyone to see. You can check the comments below for links to our channels. We have only two games left in the season before we go on hiatus. Season 2 will begin in January. That's all the updates I have for now. Stay tuned to the PSVR Gamecast Live for more Catnip game updates. This is Grim Catnip, and remember, Brian Paul loves you all.